I was gonna get us like um Indiana Jones hats. hats. I was thinking about yeah. hats, yeah. Yeah, but uh no. It's not worth it. It's not even worth it. Like like there, let's not been, pretend if, like we're having fun. If it had been good you know what we should watch next is the killer is the killer. Oh, I saw that. You watched it already? I watched it. Yeah. So maybe you could watch it and we can. Yeah, I'll watch it. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. That's a good I mean, one. share our thoughts on a on a a film that isn't trash. Isn't terrible. Absolutely yeah. It's, it's it's been like yeah. I feel like it's been weeks of like not good movies for us. Definitely. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Well, no. I don't want to watch bad movies. I don't want to shit on yeah. films endlessly. Well, uh, no, I'll I mean, do it. I mean, it's just, you know, you watch a movie, you know, is it good or is it bad? Like, you know, who knows? I don't know. I mean, I know. Yeah, I don't know. You know? I know for sure. Um, <laughs> you get that you get that tingle in your in your Pringle. Um, <laughs> right, right. So, where to begin? I guess we should start with, like, the opening plot of the film. Like, that's always a good spot to start at. The, start at. Um, I was actually big, doing some... The big D. I was doing some reading. Yeah, yeah. We finally watched the dial for you guys. The dial. We finally of made it to to the the, the ultimate Indiana Jones uh, send off. Yeah, an extravaganza, yeah. if you will. Yeah, the, the final installment of the legendary franchise, the, Indiana Jones. The the fucking the hottest party coming to your local nursing home. Oh man, I mean it. It, it was yeah. It was it was the worst movie I've ever seen. This one. Yeah. I, I keep the, topping myself like, the, like wow the, just when you think it can't I feel get like, any worse I feel like you just like every bad movie you see now you're like man this has got to be the worst movie I've ever seen I, th- I think as, I, as I'm getting older <laughs> you know and more cynical the I'm losing my, my youthful uh, you know vigor and, and, and optimism I think you know successively each film I see is just the worst movie ever it's, that's got, it's, that's it's gotta be it because there's no way that Sneakers was worse than this no Sneakers was better than this movie the second worst movie I've ever seen. <laughs> also, like the second movie, it was so. And both of these were, and the holdover was both better than both. The holdover, the holdover was much better than either of these films. Really, it was. It, it was, was good? still. It was still a struggle to stay awake at times. I saw it in the theater. Was it good? So, it, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I saw it with my grandpa. He he was like, this, this out of all the movies that are out right now, which you know. There's like a couple, I guess. Um, the Holdovers is the one he wanted to see the most. There's at least a couple movies out right now? There's like, he was talking about seeing Killers of the Flower Moon, but then he suggested Holdovers because he's like, this is the movie I want to see. It's got Paul Giamatti in it. That's one of his favorite actors. Okay. Um, it's cast it's Paul directed G- by the guy who made Sideways, if, which uh, is like one of John's favorite movies. If Scorsese wanted um, to get your grandpa's ass in the seat, he should have cast uh, Giamatti instead of DiCaprio. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That would have been De Crap De Caprio. More De, like uh, it. More like he dates women that are way too young for him. Ah. E- EO. I mean, they're they're old enough they can make their own they're decisions. They're old enough. They can th- we don't have to infantilize women. <laughs> I, I, I think I think women can make no, their own decisions. No, it's he, he's just got a, you know. He's just got a uh, a revolving door of, you know. Yeah, you, the absolute I, you gotta, youngest. You got to know what you're getting into when you date De Caprio. That's right. You gotta know, like, that's hey, right. I'm not. I ain't gonna He's, last. I, I'm. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Right. 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 Well, once, once, you know, I, once, once I you, when you turn 25, eight, when you turn 18, you're in. 19, you're out. You're out. Like. <laughs> oh, not even. Not even 25. <laughs> oh, bro. I thought. I thought by 25. My, my bro. Maybe. My bro. No. <laughs> 18. And, like, and that's that's 18 based on the Chinese New Year. Not, Le- not, Le- Leo's, not the... Leo's just like waiting uh, outside the local high school, like you know, with his car, like you know, on, like, like. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> like, 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 rev- like revving the engine, like waiting for that school bell to ring. Any, of, any of you girls like yachts? <laughs> Have you seen me? <laughs> Have you seen me? I, you, I was in, I was in, I was in movies. You see me in the films? I was in, see me in the movie pictures. I'm in the moving pictures. <laughs> hey, it's that guy from The Martian. No, that's Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we only watch TikTok now, dude. That that that'll be that'll be his real foil. You know what I want to see? That'll be really foil. I think John John's like we should do this again sometime. This was a lot of fun. I was like, yeah, like let's go see uh, an, a new movie film sometime. Yeah, when in the, the future, when the, in, when the you know opportunity presents itself. That's right. There's this new movie called Napoleon coming out. Yeah, right up John's alley. He loves war. 
And, That's uh, right. You know, it's got actors in it. Looks pretty hot. Looks pretty sexy. Yeah. Well, uh, I think I'm seeing. I think I'm seeing that. I love watching with, a sexy movie with my grandpa in the theater. I think I'm supposed to see that with Noah and crew when uh, or after Thanksgiving, the Friday oh, after nice. Thanksgiving. Yeah, everyone's gonna go see that. It's gonna make a billy. I thought it was coming out on Apple. It, it was. Here's the thing. They 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 trick you, right? Because they t they tell you it's an Apple TV movie. But then it doesn't come out on Apple TV first. It comes out in the theater. You're just a sad, pathetic little brute of a man. Nothing comes without me. It comes out in the theater. You're a woman. It's all about his woman, how she, she's, she's the one who's really pulling the strings. That's right. Yeah, I yeah, like that. I recently read a um, fantasy series that is like, uh, it's like the Napoleonic Wars, but there's, dra there's dragons. No. Oh, damn. Yeah, close. <laughs> that you're, you know, but with myth a mythical dragons. creature. Yeah, just it was like good. just like how uh, in Indiana Jones they they thought that, that the Romans thought they were fighting dragons. Let's well, you're jumping way ahead. <laughs> I'm jumping way ahead. You're jumping way ahead. I would. <laughs> that I part wish, was fucking. I w stupid. I wish I could have jumped to that part. <laughs> I wish. I need the fucking dial to reverse seeing this movie, dude. And here's the thing: so how it works. the dial didn't even do anything. All it did was. Like all all it was was like tell you, I guess where to go and when. It didn't like control anything. Mm, yeah, you're right. It wasn't. It that, wasn't like that some was, sort of portal machine. That was the fucking stupidest fucking part. Yeah, I, I, I okay. Let, let's, all right, let's let's let's, let's, let's get we're getting we're it. getting way ahead of ourselves, folks. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, so I, I've, I've the watching... dial of dementia. Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I wrote down some notes. Uh, to be fair, you know, he is he does look great for his age. I mean, he's like a 95-year-old man. And he is not. He's not 95. He looks like he's, you know. How old is he actually? Uh, uh, not a day over 80. How old is he actually? I think he's like 102. <laughs> at the very least, he's got to be, he's got to be, you know, let's see. Ford he's been around the block a, few, a couple times. Ford Harrison. 81 years Ford old. Ford Harrison LLP is a law firm in Clayton, Missouri. That's sick. He's dude. 81? Yeah. So, he, so, now, so now he was like 79 when they started shooting this? Uh, Sure, yeah. Fuck, how many times did he break his hip? You know, Disney lost $100 million on this movie? Justifi that, that, that's justifiably. A, a low estimate. Justifiably. Yeah, good. on good. Man, good. so <laughs> good. this film this film begins. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. This film begins. W and it, warning you that there are tobacco depictions. Oh yeah, I forgot to write that down. That was the best part of the that movie. That was probably the most, um, the most cut and dry, like best storytelling that they had. Yeah, it's like uh, there's gonna be like some violent murders. Uh, there's gonna be some, you know, uh, like, uh, like, <laughs> like there's gonna be some graphic. Some, there's gonna be some some fucking Nazis. Not Nazis, yeah. Like, but but what we really need to worry about is the people smoking tobacco. That that's the first thing up top we gotta warn you about, right? Tobacco right off. Tobacco, right, yeah. Depictions. That's that's horrible. Off the bat, and then and In then case you're scared of watching and then, people smoke tobacco. And then they let you know who to blame for this fucking travesty: Disney, Paramount, and Lucasfilm. That's the hat they, trick. They may even try to like. That's the hat trick. Um, do like the Paramount Mountain dissolve into like something you know? No, yeah. How they usually do. Now, so now Pride Rock is in the background of the Disney open thing. Is it on the? It was on the back right hand side. You could see it. it's like Disney 100. Oh, Pride, cool. Ro Pride Rock, and Hell then there yeah. was something on the left. Pride Rock's know. dope. Yeah, I love Pride Rock. <sighs> don't don't drag the Lion King into this. <laughs> They're pulling out all the nostalgia, the uh, nostalgia bait for you. Right, yeah. So, print, pull up the so so they, so here. you know. Okay. First, they, they tell you straight off. Okay, there's going to be depictions of tobacco. Right. Thank God. I, mean, I, I don't even remember people even really smoking tobacco. Um, what, were, were, were they? There was some. Yeah. Yeah. Re some remember, point? she had a cigarette. Who wombat? Yeah. Yeah. She had a cigarette. She was like. She was like. You got a cigarette? Or whatever. Oh, the worst character in the entire movie. <laughs> by, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> she sucks. She was like. Oh my God. She was so fucking we're, annoying. We're getting. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, in 1944. That's two years to after call the this actual a, to, Harrison Ford, Ford was okay, born. Okay, here's the thing. This movie had a plot, but that plot was to waste two and a half hours of my life. Like, like the Jeez, plot, man. It the was plot so was to long. get you. The plot was not what happened in the movie. The plot was how are we going to get people in the theater to waste their finite life energy? It was not a justifiable two and a half hour movie. I, you know, I, here's the thing. It didn't. I will, say, quest I, will say, quest. I will say. I will say. I will say. 
it didn't feel like two and a half hours. It actually didn't really? feel like two and a half hours. Watching all the way through, but the but I also the whole time was waiting for something to happen. Nothing happened. I was just like waiting the whole time. Like, when is something gonna happen? I was I, like, maybe next something's gonna happen. I broke it up over like three days, so it felt like an eternity to me. I I was like, maybe something's gonna happen now. Every no. at the end of every fe- like chase sequence. Oh they, oh, they get the thing type deal. I was kind of confused when the movie ended because I was like, "Did it, what happened?" Because I, 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 when did something uh, happen? Unlike sneakers, I, I literally like sat down and watched this movie in chunks, you know. But I, I intently watched, watched it. Yeah, and it's like I could not really even recall. Like I, I knew they were always trying to get this dial or the other half of this dial. The other half of the uh, yeah, the but dial, like it was dial just like one thing. None, none of the set pieces, none of the, the, none of the action scenes were really like that memorable what, or like what, interesting. What was the dial called? Like the Dial of Archimedes or something? No, no, no. It, it had like a fucking a name that they used at the beginning. Oh, uh, the who ar- knows? It, it, Maybe it says the Ark. The Ark. Uh, k- 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 they, they, Basil Attach- Shaw and Indy attempt to retrieve the Lance. Basil. Of, uh, long, long, not the, the Lance of the Lance of Longinus. I Lon- guess is what they, that's how they were pronounced. Oh, like longitude and latitude. Um, apparently ah. that's the guy who stabbed Christ when he was on the cross or whatever. Um, from a castle in the French Alps. Why is it there? Astrophysicist what, what, Jorgen Vola. What was what the fuck was the deal? The superiors, the Lance is fake. So so it, the movie kicks off right. Indiana Jones is in a Nazi outfit. I will. I do appreciate that they used swastikas. Yeah. In the film, I was gonna that, say that that's something like I was actually surprised. Like the movie kind of went harder than it, it did go. I, I, I will. I will give it cre- credit where credit is due. I, the movie went hard in in the ways. There that was it, a lot more violent deaths and could. murder, and yeah. you had Nazis and just like general. You know, obscene imagery than yeah, I was expecting. Yeah, tobacco depictions. Tobacco depictions. I, uh, I mean, we didn't get to see Wombat's Wombat, but... Um, that's for the sequel. That's for the sequel, right. And, um, that's what we'll get that's, people through that's the door. For the, that's for the unrated edition. That's she, how they're going to sell it. She's beautiful. She's intelligent. She's cringeworthy. She's... <laughs> okay, hold on. All right. So that that's two lies, one truth. <laughs> I, she's like, self-confident, self-reliant. She's self-indulgent. Self-indulgent. Um, absolutely insufferable overconfident <laughs> uh, totally what well, we're getting ahead of ourselves she doesn't even exist at this point in the movie so so it's it's like yeah 19, it's Nazi times it's like the fall of the fall of the Reich yeah, right things are not looking and uh, not looking up. for some reason they're the Nazis are still in France like if I feel like at this point if they when the Nazis already lost the war they were kind of pushed out of France uh, French Alps so you know it, it's remote you know, uh, I guess well, been... it was, and it was, it was, um, it was the crew of a plunder train. That's what they called it. The crew of the plunder train. The plunder train. The plunder train. Das das plunder train then. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, and yeah, in the end, is it in you know it opens and you think, oh man, we're not even gonna see a single swastika. Not that I, I you know, I don't. Not that I like to just I can see a swastika. But in, you know what? Is I the love worst? seeing a swastika in a film. In a yeah yeah because yeah, it film. really establishes the stakes. Y- you know it does. I, I would love to be the uh the the prop master. You know, on a film like that. Right. We were watching oversee the burning of the swastika. All the light we cannot the, see on Netflix. Yeah. And it's about this blind girl who's uh you know. In, Fr- in France during the occupation. Yeah, she's like, you know, she's blind. She's resisting. And no, I mean, she she's she runs a radio station. She runs right. a podcast that's illegal. And, an illegal uh, podcast. An illegal podcast. And uh, yeah, we got it good these days. We can say whatever the hell we want. That's right. But you know, back then it was it was the Nazis would, would get you. And uh, especially in Nazi there's France, there's a there's a scene where they they unfurl this like giant fucking like slash like a flag. I mean, this thing's big. I mean, it's, oh. it's it's at least like several bodies, you know, wide, uh, you know, probably 30, 40 feet long. Wow. You know, I mean, it's it's a thick one with a big old swash. So, you know, the, the fear is coming. I don't know exactly why they were unfurling it, but they did it in the slow motion over this like big, like, you know, building or whatever. And I was like, where do you find something like that? You, get to, you have to get uh, that like custom got, you made. You just got to get it custom made. Yeah. You got to like like Etsy or Cause, well, because you can't support the people that are just making them. <laughs> right. <laughs> for, you know, <laughs> like, for nowadays, like you're the production designer and you're tasked with, uh, you know, delivering a giant fucking swastika flag. Right. And you you, you don't want to you know be put on like a watch list or anything like. I mean, you don't want right. to. Right. No, you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, you don't want to support yeah. the people who are making that shit like legitimately. Just for you know. So for, like, for maybe, maybe there's a, maybe there's just like a warehouse like you know in, in Van Nuys or in Burbank or something that just has one that like they just like rent out. Could be. Well, know, I think a lot. The Nazi section. I think a lot of Nazi props are burned. 
like the swastikas and stuff after movies are filmed. It seems like a waste of a good swastika. <laughs> <laughs> That's an oxymoron. So, so yeah, and so and you think you're not even going to see how, how much to rent the big swastika flag. <laughs> <laughs> they use this thing in Glorious Bastards. Oh, tw- it's two fifty a day. Uh, that's a bit, that's that, pretty good that, price. That would be thirteen hundred francs per day. Uh, I mean dollars. <laughs> Wait a minute. The Reich. The, we're, we're, little do these fucking prop masters know they're financing the rise of the Reich once more. Right, um, right. All that, yeah. all that, all that fucking swastika money is going into a bank account somewhere. I'm sure all the swastikas in, Argen- in, Ar- in Argentina. In, on, on this Indiana Jones film, just like everything else. Um, there probably wasn't a single swastika on set. Maybe, could be. I don't know. It was on like uniforms and stuff. It seemed like pretty much like you know they can track that in fabric and like stuff. Yeah, they, yeah. But it's offensive to the eyes. Did they? I, yeah, I wonder if they did. The actors. Um, they, they... I do have access to the extras. Oh wow! Yeah, the so extras. Do you. Fuck. So do you? We both bought it. We spent yeah. a collective what? They make you thirty three dollars. They make you. On... They're really trying to get their their cash back. And, I spent and twenty people... on it. Mason got some kind of deal or something. Uh, like yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I think I mentioned it on the podcast. I was like, yeah, the, you know. I was looking at movies on Apple TV, and there it's like you know our Apple movies, and it's oh, like giving it away. Li- li- limited time, thirteen bucks. So I was like, I'm gonna have to pay this anyway. So, um, you know, yeah, it was like the price of renting it for two people for me and Mackenzie. You know, I mean, ten dollars a ticket. You know, it, yeah, you Alyssa know. watched it with me. Like, it was really nice for for like you know the, the, fir- the, the first, first the first night, section, yeah. the first night, and then I was like, this is so bad, I don't want to subject her yeah. to this. So I just finished it on my own. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was um the opening the opening wasn't it wasn't terrible. it wasn't that bad well it wasn't it wasn't that bad other than you know you you're dealing with CGI Harrison Ford who like looks like like maybe kind of slightly okay one second yeah. and then literally the next like like frame to frame yeah. like it like they they weren't getting the transitions or something right from like one side of his face to the other <laughs> or if he turned his face yeah, or uh, something. I, I, I think it would have been a good scene if they just cast like a younger actor to portray him. Why not? Because like it was like a well done. Why well, not? I, I wouldn't say it was super great. I mean, it was I okay in comparison to the rest of the film. It was okay. It was, it was like, probably the best. It, action it was. Scene. It was I because I like trains and I like you know high octane it, action. It, here's the thing. It was the first action scene in the movie. Yeah, and there's and, a lot to happen. And, and so you hadn't already been through three action three consecutive stacked like chase scenes yeah this movie was really stacked uh, like with, with bad mediocre yeah action really stacked yeah so it's like you know and he's like indiana jo- indiana and, and his uh his butt buddy or whatever they're 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 out there you know and he's has, got like a new best friend has basil been introduced before no, i couldn't no. tell i i you know that's good, good that like, he had toby jones yeah and it's like he always ha- yeah it's like this guy he's Wind known him down. forever Man, oh man, there's so many issues with this fucking movie. Anyway, so he's but he's there, and there's like a Nazi captain or general or whatever, and he's like, oh, we have to bring you know the the lance of Christ back to the, so, the yeah, Vol- back, back back to high. Vol- you know, Voller's an astrophysicist, right? That guy? Are you talking about? No, I'm talking. I'm talking about the the actual Nazi. Oh, the Nazi, like the the rank the. The ranking officer. The ranking officer. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Um, he's like, yeah, take him upstairs. I guess that means hang him and like. Ask him for information. So Indiana Jones is caught pretty much immediately. Yeah, yeah. He, he comes. He's introduced like with a bag over his head. Right, right. It's kind of similar to like the last movie. Yeah. And he says Nazis. That's like Nazis. his line now. That's like his like thing. It's like his thing. Yeah. And he just says Nazis, and we're supposed to cheer or something. I guess. I hate these guys. He didn't even say that. He just right. said Nazis, like in that kind of gruff tone that he has. Yeah. And I, it, I guess that's like a callback. I don't know. Yeah, there were a lot of callbacks. There's a lot of callbacks. It yeah. was basically Too one, many. one long callback to a, a time when these <laughs> movies were good. A time when Lucasfilm could actually produce quality content. Yeah. Without Jorge behind the wheel, it's just devoid of, and, of substance. Yeah. And even Spielberg is... is his presence was definitely missed. Spielberg's direction. Oh, Mangold was not up to the task. In not my even opinion. slightly. It didn't really feel like an Indiana Jones movie. No, it just kind of felt like your standard th- th- kind of. There was no sense of adventure. Spielberg just moves the camera a lot. You know, he's he's got like a really good uh, sense of what is it direction? Right, flow. Uh, the, flow. The flow of like the yeah, yeah the, the way um you know items and people will move across the screen and how the camera will track and there'll be really nice uh kind of wonders or kind of uh, shots that are composed in a way where the focus brings your attention to certain important 
elements in the screen. It was. Sh- there was nothing really like that. It, there was there's nothing to really praise in the way the filmmaking was it done. It really felt it like very straightforward. It felt so Star Wars, like the new Star Wars movies, like in the way that like they were presenting information, like but. I mean, I th- I think uh, what's his fuck the JJ he his style definitely emulates Spielberg's much more, where he's moving the camera through the scene a lot and like I said with the kind of the creative camera work, uh, and the editing, but yeah I I think Mangold's style is very just like kind of point and shoot and just kind of your standard, you know. Editing. It wasn't dynamic. Yeah, um, it wasn't super it, thrilling it, or in dynamic a, in a way that is like, oh, like we're on a we're on a real thrill ride. And here's the thing: the movie, all it was was supposed to be like all they tried to do was be a thrill ride. Like I, yeah, and it's just chock full of CGI. I mean, everywhere you look, and not not great CGI like, either. Like the fucking erasers that your teacher asks you to fucking clap out for three hours after class for detention. Like it was chock full, <laughs> bro. Chalked full. That was like a really like, that was like an old man reference. It, I don't think they even have erasers anymore. It, you mean the digital whiteboard? Yeah. Chalk? What's that? Um. No, man. Yeah, it was really. Oh. It was. Ri- <laughs> oh shit. Chalk. He's young. Now he's young. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> What's chalk? What's a school? Yeah, I don't. I don't even go to school. I just I just keep it one hundred. <laughs> Chalk that rhymes with TikTok. <laughs> I'm young too. That's good. We can't both be young at once. Nope. That's the trade off. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, oh, fucking it, kids. You know, Indy. He's caught by the Nazis. Um, they're like, "What do you want?" He, you know, he's like, I'm not telling you a goddamn or whatever. You he's still got the old man voice. He's even though yeah, he's young. He's not. He doesn't sound like young Indy. That's for sure. Sounds like old Indy. Like he didn't even try. Yeah. I feel like Harrison Ford did not try during this movie. <sighs> like, like he gave try. No, he here's the thing, bro. He gave everything <laughs> that he had to give, and what they told uh, him, what and the direction they gave him was, you're depressed. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, like like I think he just was depressed, so he, like they're like I guess we'll lean into this maybe. Well, like, so so it seems like he's acting. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, he gave I think he gave everything he had to give. The thing is like the man is I mean, he's got one he's got one foot in the nursing home, one foot in the grave at this point. <laughs> um and, uh, and and it's old not people, man. It's not, you know. What's up with oh, old let's people? not even get started on the on the on the um suggested elderly sex scene there's a sex scene that it was suggested um get over here i'm I'm really gonna no no the elderly (laughs) it was elderly elder on elder elder and elder 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 intercourse Um, oh what yeah no bro you you mean at the very end we're getting ahead of ourselves okay i don't (laughs) remember that I think you're making shit up. <laughs> I'm not making it up. It was very clear that the next that it was moving towards the fucking bedroom. Okay. Ew. Um, <laughs> the Golden Bachelor really has fucked me up with uh, uh. thinking about old people f- fucking. <laughs> I and I only watched like one and a half episodes. I can't watch it. I I tried to make Mackenzie watch it as a punishment for her, <laughs> and I couldn't even I couldn't even withstand it. When, uh, it's really fucking nasty. When old Indy comes, do you think he just shoots out like a puff of dust? <laughs> it was. I'm coming. It's it's sand from the tomb of the pharaoh. Yeah, right. It's just like, I mean, he's all dried up down there. Man, you're gonna need like a. a you know what though? You know what? Loop. You know what? Probably he's things going. probably probably he still fucks like a like a racehorse, bro. I'm I'm calling it. He's strong, dude. I'm calling it. He's virile. Yeah, he's virile. He's going to father um, children at the ripe old age of fucking 80, just like uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. Oh, that's sick. Dude. Robert De Niro is ancient. I know. All these old actors really just need to die off. Like, I'm I'm, I'm really, like, tired. Like, really tired of all these really old actors, like, still being in movies. Hollywood Hollywood really doesn't want them to go. No. Like, and they're really trying to milk these guys for the last, like... They're milking these guys For the good. last, like... like uh, drop so they're fucking spin, dude. Like, I just wish this whole like you know uh, de aging craze like could have happened like maybe like ten, twenty years from now. Like it happened to, like right when all these guys started getting old and like they're like perfect timing. 
<sighs> now we can de we can youngify all the all the you know classic actors and and bring back the good old times. Yeah, you know, for one here's, last go around. Here's the thing, right? Make sure you scan them good so we can put yeah, them in movies well, forever. And, and, oh, and if they didn't scan you, don't worry. They're still going to fucking try to use you, uh, a la Grand Moff Tarkin. <laughs> yeah, they didn't even scan Fuck. that guy. No, they didn't. They they, they, uh, so, they took some sort of like, cast of his face for like some movie. They, they, like, they, they, they had like in a fucking sto- storage container somewhere. Oh, no, literally. Oh, no, literally. And they, they, his, they scanned his that. death mask. Yeah, yeah. They scanned that shit in. They just, they, they like got his, like, they exhumed his fucking skeleton <laughs> and had the people that do like read With that, permission that, that, from that, the family. That, sure. They gave, yeah. Oh, with permission. <laughs> that fucking guapo. Um, they, How many zeros do I need to put after this? Right. This one here. On this check. One, zero, two, zero, a hundred dollars. We'll take it. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's fuck. all it took. That's all it took. Um, they're down. They're they're down bad. Uh, since his royalties aren't coming anymore, you know, shits on Disney Plus, shits on Netflix. Time what, what fishers. Hold on. A fisher of time. Hold on. Not to be confused with anal fishers, which is something <laughs> the elderly have to deal with. Yeah. So so hold on. No. Um. I was gonna say like. Uh, this movie would have been more aptly titled Indiana Jones and the Uncanny Valley. Mm. Um, that'd be good. That would be good. I, I would very self aware. That would be, that would make a lot more sense. Yeah, more than the dial more of an apt title. For because sure. the thing is, the dial was n- hardly in the movie. It was where was the destiny? I mean, it was in it quite a bit. They were they were chucking it around. No, 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 no. At least half of it. No, no. half of the dial. Was we gotta sh- find the other half of the shuffled, dial? Was shuffled back and forth. If we don't find the other half, then but like they only Fuller's were, gonna go back to 1944. They only were able to and become the new Hitler. Okay, let's let's keep let's let's keep a little. So um, come on, wombat. Shut up on daddy's stop. cock. <laughs> That's her godfather for for Christ's sake. Hop on your godfather's cock. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> No, dude. No, dude. She, she, I was mis. She was miscast. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing that out right now. They. You who? like sand in your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gracious goodness! Fucking. I've got sand from every continent in there. <laughs> He's been around. He's been around I'm the block. About, I'm He's, gonna, he still I'm, knows how to how to how to fuck, dude. I'd like to explore your tomb. <laughs> like he's just like a sex pest in his old age. <laughs> all he wants to do is like fuck. all he wants to do is fuck. All he wants to do is fuck. You know, yeah. my wife left me, so it's cool now. Yeah, and why'd she leave him? Because he was depressed. Yeah, aren't you supposed to like stick with your husband? And, like, help yeah, him? like what's up? What's this narrative of people like leaving their husbands because they're depressed? I don't like it. Yeah, it's like uh, I don't like in this sickness narr- or in health. I don't like this narrative. Uh, Till death was, do you part. Same narrative in the Red Door, Insidious, the Red Door. She left him because he was like depressed and like crazy. But Ooh. then she got back with him at the end. Uh, it was hinted that she might let him come over for dinner. It's like, oh come on, <laughs> that's so fucking stupid. It wasn't like, oh like. We're back together. It was like, why don't you come over for dinner? Like you've been you've been sad for two weeks. I think we should get a divorce. Like, you're not really you're not that fun to be around anymore. I'm kind of like I'm I'm more looking yeah. to like get some like young like, vibes. I'm going. sad and you're not and you're not making me feel better. You're out. Yeah, that's one, two, Hit three strikes. Road. You're out. Hit the road, so, Jack. <clears throat> don't so, you look back? So well, so okay. It's it's the forties, you know. There's a bunch, there's Nazis. They're plundering some like fucking like French castle that just has like all these artifacts. Where do these places exist? What like what is this like? Where why and why are there so many of these places th- that the Nazis have specific plunder trains? That's plunder training. <laughs> Um, like where, like I wonder what the word for that in Ger- you know, because in German, like it'll be like one big long word that means something very specific. I wonder what the word is for plunder train, Nazi plunder train, the um, Berlin bound plunder train, the, the, with the, looted antiquities. Oh, 
Uh, he obtains the dial piece, and the two leap from the train just before Allied forces derail it. Well, so he finds out that this fucking... That, that was the, weird. He Do you remember that part where oh. he like they leap into the water from the train, and then it like immediately it's like daytime, and they're like still getting out of the water? That was fucking strange. Dude. Well, so so there, everybody's there, right? Everybody, everybody's there to find this like the Lance of Longinus, which is like you know there was like a Dark Knight Rises related related like to... weird time anomaly. And oh, and and let's not forget Indiana. This we're we're skate we're really skating over some shit because Indiana Jones is not the only fucking person that they CGI young youth. Did they did they youthify? They Voller? youthified Voller. The uh, play, he didn't look that different. He no, they smoothed them out. They smoothed them. They okay. smoothed them completely. I, I mean, that. no, he was he was totally. He's all smooth. He was all smooth, bro. They 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 yeah, and it was bad too. It wasn't good. Um, so huh. Voller. I guess I was too distracted by Indy's face. The, the guy. Well, you were also watching it on your. T- on Mads Mikkelsen's such a good actor too. Matt, I feel like like he was totally wasted in the he, role. Mads. He Mikkelsen, could have been really good. He was like I don't know what they were telling him. I don't know what kind of direction he received. But like he was not. He did not feel sinister to me. He did not feel like an evil. Like sure, like he's a Nazi, so he is evil, right? Sure. But he didn't feel like an evil Nazi. He well, wasn't like he wasn't like menacing enough. I was reading uh, about the production of the film. And, okay. Uh, here, maybe I can. It's find not very it. young to read, you know. You know. Mickelson said the script was everything I wished it to be. His character uh. was partly inspired by the Nazi scientists involved in NASA, including Werner von Braun. Yeah. Like most villainous characters he has played throughout his career. I picked up on that. Mikkel- yeah. Mickelson described Voller as a misunderstood person. He also described his character as restrained. We tried to avoid the cliche of the German or the Nazi with the extreme accent and the extreme madness. We wanted him to be a man who kind of blended in once he moved to America because he's predominantly a scientist. Predominantly a scientist? He's like working... His like life's goal is to like is to like make sure that that like Hitler doesn't lose the war for Germany. Oh, so so his well, he's thing... Trying, he's trying to kill Hitler and become the new Fuhrer. Well, no, well his thing is that is that Hitler lost the war for Germany. Right. He hated like, that. Like, he didn't like that Hitler... He didn't like, that. He didn't like Hitler's, you know, uh, uh, approach. So, you like, know? the whole thing is, like, yeah, like, I get it. Like, you know, you don't want to be that cliche Nazi. There's a lot of cliche Nazis in that show I was watching on Netflix, the uh, yeah. All the Light We Cannot See. Because right. these actors, they get a hold of these scripts, and they're, and they're like, they, they really go to town. Right. Ever since... Uh, as, as, as one would. Ever since, you know... What's his face in Inglorious Bastards? What yeah. was his name? Um, I don't know. Oh, Landa, Hans Landa. Oh, yeah, Hans Landa, dude. He, you know, everyone wants to be the next Hans Landa, and it's like you're not. He, he already did not. it. He already. Yeah. He already was that character. So I, I understand how you want to kind of, you know, take it back a little bit. No extreme accent. No extreme madness. But then it's like. You kind of, you do just kind of blend in. You can well. Here's the thing. You There's can, nothing really prominent that you, stands out about your character. You don't have to be an ex- have extreme madness to be like extremely evil. Like he didn't feel evil enough. Like he wasn't like menacing enough. Like he wasn't talking about his plans enough. I know there was never a scene where him and Indy like sat down and like had a conversation about he, like their like philosophy. Like or the, anything. yeah, well, like the whole time I'm thinking like I'm thinking like okay, like I kind of get where he's going. Like he wants to go back to affect the war, but like. What's his plan? And like, what's he gonna do? Like, how's he gonna, you know, how's he gonna make it? Like, how's he gonna win the war? Like, what's he like? It, you know, it's just like he has. It's like, oh, he had. He exists. He has a plot. You know, some kind of some kind of plot. He has. I'm assuming. Um, but what? But what? Like, w- why am I so worried about him getting it? Right? Why am I so concerned? Like, I wasn't that concerned about it. You know, because he wasn't like. Yeah, like y- you can do what they wanted to do, but still get across like an evil villain, you know. And the thing is too, like he kind of he kind of shed at a certain point. He kind of shed his like guise of being of of having assimilated. Yeah, I mean he was definitely a Nazi through and through. He shed his guise of having assimilated. So like, why not then like break it through a little more, like? You don't have to take it up to a hundred, but you could take it up from zero, from literally zero to like what, 20, 30, 40 percent. I mean, what? It, why? They just didn't really give him enough to work with. He's a great actor, so yeah. if they had written his character, if, yeah. if if Jez Butterworth had done a little better job on the script, oh, don't then don't get me started on on the butter. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, man, this movie sucked. Uh, hold on a second. So Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, what, what's the guy's name in Raiders of the Lost Ark? Fucking, he gets the Golden Idol. It's such a good fucking movie. Uh, from and then it's 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 taken by. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, what, what is this? Who? Yeah. The cover is a Golden Idol. Oh, Belloc. Yeah, yeah. Be- Belloc's his name. There's a great scene in that movie um, where him and Belloc sit down at like a cafe, and they they have like this discussion about like their philosophy and their like moral compass and stuff. Right. And it's like really interesting. There's never a scene like that. How could you have? How villain. could you have that conversation? They're he, always he could have. Yeah, I mean, there, was, I mean, there I, were moments right. when they were, no, they could have. For they sure. could have. You know, when he sat down and he could have. You know, had some like mental sparring with each other something interest there yeah there's all action all the time it's like if it's like the star wars the 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 sequel effect where it's if we hit you with enough action you won't stop and think about if this movie's good or not you'll just be so caught up in the movement and the drama little do they know i can't help but think about how shitty it is when all i'm seeing is action i know it's just and it's all cgi too i mean if if you're gonna go all in i know action then go all in in a good way why if you're gonna spend 400 million dollars making a movie Sh- shoot it for real like right. like the scene on the train like that's a good scene in concept and there are some good beats to it but every shot was filled chock full the, with CGI so it's like they're on the train and, crazy. And, and, and Indy like finds the Lance and oh it's a fake or whatever and then and then like you know Mickelson's character you know uh, he like brings out this the the what, what the fuck was it called the Lance of Long no 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 <laughs> Long and Inus Longinus Longinus um, no, the 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 dial. What's the, what's what are they what were they actually calling the dial? Doesn't it say? It just says the dial of Archimedes. He called it something. That's a there's a name for it. Um, there's a name for this fucking dial. So he he like pulls it out. Antithera mechanism. Oh, the Antikythera. An- anti Antikythera. That's what mechanism. Yeah. Right. He pulls it out. He's like he's like he's like this. This can win us the war. But like, how would it have won you the war? Like. With how it works, like it would not have anyway. Um, like Indy w- doesn't like that, and Indy Indy doesn't like that. Well, Basil, you know, he's been captured. He hears you all that. You should have stayed out of Poland, right? <laughs> just says random shit. Like yeah, that. yeah, just like yeah, stuff to like remind you, like that it's like that about he's not, the, not pro Nazi about, about the war. You yeah, know? Um, yeah. So fucking anyway. There was a part where Indiana Jones uh, made fun of him for trying to tell a joke. Like Voller tells a joke or, or says some does some sort of wordplay, and then Indy's like, "You're a German. Don't try to be funny." I was like, "That's fucking racist." Yeah. Or what? countryist or whatever. Yeah, xenophobic Z- at, at the very xenophobic? least. Xenophobic. Um. So I, Germans are funny. Yeah, they're hilarious. World War Two was fucking hilarious. Whoa, hold up. Like LOL. Nice try. Put the hat on. Good one. Put the hat on if you're gonna say young <laughs> if you're gonna say shit that's that young. Good one, Germans. The war wasn't funny. It was pretty funny. No. Uh so Like they shot their shot. So <laughs> what the fuck? Can't say they didn't shoot their shot. What the fuck, bro? Um When I'm thinking comedy, I'm not thinking I'm not. I'm not thinking the great. You know, the second Great War. So then, World War One wasn't funny, but World War Two was. What? World War One was just sad. What? Okay. Uh, moving on <laughs> from this travesty of a bit. Uh, <laughs> like what the fuck? Hey, it's so, not. It's not my fault. You can't keep up with the bit. Man, there's it's yeah, it's, that's that bit's way too young for me. <laughs> I don't know why you don't got the hat on. You, so you 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 need to you need to yes and everything I say. All right, from now on. Y- no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of you squashing my bits. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, uh, hey, old man. Yeah. <laughs> get with the program. Yeah. War's funny as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and I hear Hitler was actually thrown out of comedy school. <laughs> God. Comedy school. God. <laughs> no, that's not. That's yeah, that's that's they, they had that back in the, you know, I guess because I guess because Germans aren't funny, right? They have to go to comedy uh, school. Uh, people always say that, but like, I mean, I think they're hilarious. Their little outfits and stuff they wear. They're, 
hey man, that's th- that is authentic Hugo Boss. Okay? Yeah, like they they're all like shiny. They're and stuff. they're in they're in fucking they're all de- slick and oiled oiled up. They're in de- that, that's designer shit. Okay. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. That's designer shit. So anyway, yeah, th- this whole train scene takes place. Um, it, you know, eventually, you know, apparently the Antikythera is like the most important thing on the train, but for some reason they just like leave it. <laughs> Like fucking sitting around? Why? I don't know. In a room with like, a like ba- ba- Basil, stooges, Basil yeah. tied up, who heard all about it. What? So, um, dun, 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 dun. So, yeah, Don, yeah. And, oh my god! And then the fucking theme starts playing. Like, I mean, how many times? How many times? I lost track. I, I, I just, I couldn't yeah, just keep started track blending of that. In I couldn't keep track of that. The, the this, score didn't really stand out to me. I, I kind of wanted to watch it a second time just to like focus more on the score. Because apparently John Williams did it, and it got like people said they liked it. They it, liked the score. I, was, didn't, I didn't really. The yeah, only, I didn't really the only it. thing that stood out was like how often, to me at least, was how often um, they. Dun 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 dun. Was how often they, um, you know, used it. That's use that yeah theme. All right. So uh, let's see, hold on a second. Twenty five years later, in nineteen sixty nine, an elderly Indy is retiring from Hunter wait, College. Wait, wait, in wait. New there's York something City. I want to say about the end of the train scene. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. So the, you know, there's this whole trace chase on the train, and you try to sit up a little bit. They, they like you're kind of you're kind of slouching. I, I'm 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 sinking into the couch. I, I'm hunkering down because this this really. Ah. It's gonna be bad for the edit. I'm sinking. I'm sinking down. Like, like, like this movie. Like my. my oh. Whoa. All right. Hold on. Uh, here we go. I know. I know. It's depressing. But we gotta. We gotta, we gotta stay strong. I don't wanna. I don't. I don't wanna live this life. He's not young anymore. Okay. So this movie aged me horribly. Horribly. Like like Indiana Jones aged horribly. So anyway, wait. I'm gonna fix this. Okay. So then. Um, there's like this whole chase scene and there's like this anti-aircraft gun. They like, hey, they, Wombat, like, I could really go for the, some they, sex they, right now. The, the, the gun gets like shot by a plane and then it's like, just starts taking out the whole train. That was kind of cool. I like that. It's like, yeah. as the train is like coming around a bend. It's yeah, like, there are a couple of good ideas in there. Yeah. I like that like, big like, gun. Like, and you see each of the, like all these fucking Nazis. It's just like, like yeah, people blown getting, to smithereens. There were some wipeouts in this movie. Blown to smithereens. Yeah. I mean, there, I mean, there wasn't even any reens to smither at the, after that. So... Yeah, I, I I think Nazi deaths don't really count like for the MPAA. Yeah, when they're rating yeah. a film. Yeah, not yet. They're like it's, so, it's like an, it's like killing an alien or, or killing like a right like an amorphous blob like creature like it doesn't they're not human human beings. The, so um, it's, you can do whatever you want to them. Yikes! So um, they're cannon fodder. Literally in this scene. All right, let's move on to the next scene. Hold on, we're forty minutes Hold deep. We're forty on. minutes deep. We're we're not even out of the fucking flash, Hold on. flashback. Hold on. Well, we've been talking about a lot of other shit too. Oh Hold God. on. We always do this. Hold we always, on. Like, focus on like the first. I I know. I'm sorry. Okay, but here's the thing. It, this this is this is kind of so crucial this, crucial to the rest going of the, off the rails. It didn't make any. This didn't make any sense to me. So they're they're on the top of the train and it's like, oh, it's like the whole like tunnel, you know. Fucking, you know, oh, and like yeah. tunnels keep coming that, and going, that part was and stupid. and you know, then they, you know, the, the they're like fighting with the lance, you know, the, this fake, this fake fucking spearhead, whatever, right? And then they get, they they kill the Nazi, you know, commander or whatever. He's done. Yeah, he's finished. He got wiped out. Wiped out. Um, falls off the side of the train after being shot. Um, they get the doubt, and then Mads Mikkelsen, he sh- he turns up and he's like got a gun. He's like. Give me this shit, or whatever. That was good. And uh, they give it to him, whatever. And then a fucking pipe comes, or they they, they give him something. You know, it turns out Indy Indy gave, gave him the old double cross. Um, and w- like, what did he have on on his person that was heavy enough that it would have fooled him? That didn't make any sense. So, <laughs> like, like what you like? Pull the old sandbag you, trick. You, you, Indy, already, Indy's always got a sandbag you, up his sleeve. You already hid this thing inside your ass. Like, whatever. But and so this like this fucking like pipe, or something like tr- like train water Man, it's, it's piped yeah pipe, like comes like comes you know comes out of you know comes speeding and like they duck it and it just w- smashes him in the fucking head. Absolutely. I know. I'm thinking this man is dead. That, this man's yeah. It's this man is dead. Like like it's like it's like ding. 
like <laughs> not, like coming at him at like 120 miles per hour, like faster than the like train gra- was moving. Right, like a grand slam, uh, like it was straight, <laughs> like like boom, like Babe like, Ruth batter like, up, yeah, yeah, like batter fuck. batter, and like like so you know, and then yeah, then they jump off into the water. And like it's like a long ass fucking why, why, jump. Why did the why did Mads have to get hit so hard? I know why. Like why could it was he, CGI anyway? Why couldn't they just like tumble him off the train? Just or have something? him tumble off the train. It didn't or, make any, anything like, else. If that thing hit you in the head, you are fucking dead. You are fucking dead. It was like, so I intense to like. I thought it was like a plot beat. Like I thought, like right. he was going to be reincarnated in the future, like or, s- or like that. Yeah. That was his grandfather, or, or have like, or like, because I'm like, surely he's dead. Yeah, there's like, there's no way this man has survived. <laughs> so it like confused me because I knew he was in the rest of the movie. So I was like, I didn't know. Is there like a? I didn't know. I I, I, I assumed, but I didn't know. He's the main villain. You know, he's in all the trailers. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't he's see the trailers. The I first... didn't see the, any of the trailers. I was like, what's going on? Like, how are they going to bring him back from de- from death after that? But he just, yeah, he he, was, he, he didn't even have a scar. He didn't even have, like. I'm thinking, okay, so then he comes back, right? Okay, so he looked th- great for cut, his age. Cut to Indy, right? Cut to Indy. He's like wakes up, you know. He's like, um, and it's like he's just old as fuck. Yeah, just period. Like, and but he doesn't have anybody to take care of him. He's living in like a sad apartment. He's living in like an apartment, and uh, the and like his his and uh, his neighbors, right? Our our introduction to old Indy is he's telling his neighbors to quiet down. Yeah, that was funny. Uh, hey, he's hey, surrounded by hippies. It's a work day. It's a work day. This doesn't and really, also doesn't really seem like a like an Indiana Jones thing to do. They're playing the Beatles really loud. Well, he's he's Were depressed. They? Yeah, it's, yeah. He's he's never like struck me in the other movies as like a curmudgeon. He's depressed though now. But like that doesn't. I don't know. Like now, now, now he's. Wouldn't you not care about he, that he, if you're he, depressed? He's I don't depra- know. Just, it, it, it just seemed like oh, he's old. Like what do old people do? Right. Like yeah. Like I'm, I'm the screenwriter. He like, like he like got his bat or whatever. He like picked up his bat and he like went to. He's like, hey, is uh, is the guy that lives here home? And they're like, the guy's like, hey man, Doctor Jones, Dr. you Jones. fucking moron. Are, it's, you dumb it, bitch. It's the day of the fucking spacemen. They're coming to town, and it's like. Then he goes, you know, whatever. He's like going to work, and he goes outside, and it's like New York, I guess. But it doesn't. It didn't give me a New York vibe, like at all. Until he got on the subway, I was like, where? I never even realized Indiana Jones lives in New York. Does he? I don't know. I, I never really thought about it. It, it didn't seem like New York. It just I like pay the more colors, attention to these goddamn movies. The colors, like what they showed. It didn't give me a New York vibe at all, which was very strange because, like, usually, like you know, like if a movie takes place in New York, you know, you're in New York. So that was very strange to me. I'm trying to find. Uh... That was very strange to me. Um, and then he goes to work, right? And he's like, uh, he's teaching. Like, I'm trying to find out where, where's the original college he taught at. Yeah, I don't know. He's teaching at some like you know some like back some like some like not so good college. He's been there for the last ten years, I guess, since the Crystal Skull. Yeah, and his his class sucks. He's not even passionate about it. What? When did the Crystal Skull take place? The fifth, the fifties? Uh, yeah, yeah, must have. Okay. Yeah. What war did his did his son go to fight in? Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. Why would Mutt enlist for Vietnam? To piss off his old man. So, spoiler alert: Mutt Williams is dead. They couldn't get Shia LaBeouf back. That was the funniest part. They, they the did. Movie. They didn't want him back, actually. Yeah, he said. So they he killed did, him. Off. He said disparaging things about Spielberg after the film. Yeah, they didn't want him back. And also, like, he wasn't even written into like the scripts. Uh, there, there are so many different versions of this movie. Apparently, that I was reading about it that were written and and abandoned. It took them like a long time to like settle on this script. And this is the one they this fucking is, settled the on. They settled on. How was this the best one? They had like four different versions with like seventeen different screenwriters, and then they had one final version that they they all liked. Then they hired James Mangold. And he's like, he's like, I need to rework this from the ground up, basically. And he rewrote the whole script uh, again. Um, uh, there were several several screenwriters they wanted to work on it. I was reading, and then they were like, No, actually, I'd rather like work on my own thing. Like, I, I I'd rather work on like an original property. Yes, like sorry, not sorry. That's the problem with these like big IP, like you know, grandfathered in franchises, is that. You can't really get good talent to work on them because the, the good talent wants they'd rather take the lower paying check and work on something original and good. Yeah, right. They're artists. They're artists. Yeah, and then what's left is is the fucking stooges. What's left is the fucking you know people who just care about the money and the hacks. Don't even get me started on the butter. 
So yeah, so it's like who who actually <sighs> wants to work on like the next Indiana Jones movie with an old indie? Right. Like I wouldn't. Right. No. Bad. No. Yeah. Like uh, Indiana Jones who wants to direct it. Really. Like in- there's no passion behind this shit. Indiana Jones in the Diaper of Destiny. <laughs> Fuck oh, no. Like I'm like I'm get like not I'm going to spend my finite like energy as an artist like my, in, my time in the war on this fucking planet to write Indian I mean you know Indiana Jones and the and you in, know in the in the the doo <laughs> the, the mysterious doo leak. <laughs> <laughs> no it's got to be two D's, okay? You got to do you got you got to Indiana Jones and uh the uh depressive disorder. You know, it's just like Stop! Stop making these movies, please! Like, please! Apparently, stop this is the last subjecting one. Subjecting us. Apparently, to this. this is the last one until thank God until somebody takes over from Kathleen Kennedy and they resurrect it and and do Indiana Jones as a fully um, CG character. Oh God! That's the next step. Can you so, imagine? Yes, unfortunately, I can't imagine. That's gonna be terrible. That's gonna be fucking horrible. Apparently, uh, Harrison Ford was quoted as saying, "I'm Indiana Jones. After me." There's no Indiana Jones. I'm it. And uh, I'm like, no, bro. Like, Over my dead body. Yeah. I know. It's like. You got it, buddy. It, it's like, just cast they'll a wait, younger. They'll wait till it I, croaks. I'd be super down to watch a young Indiana Jones movie again with like a new actor. They'll, they'll wait till he croaks. It's a good concept. It's like 007. Like, it doesn't have to end with him. I don't right. know why it's all so focused around him. Yeah, like, why not do, like, him, like, as, like, a, like yeah, kind of like a character like Indiana, like James Bond, but, like, through the ages, you know, it's, like, different people, you know? Yeah. And, and, like, they're not connected. The stories aren't connected. Like, you know, like, outside of their, that actor's, the ones that actor is, the person. Right. Yeah, it's it's it doesn't have to just be Harrison Ford. All no, the time. not at all. Um, so so Indiana Jones, he's, he's living, not that good he, of an he's actor. Not, he's living a, a pretty unfulfilling life. Right, right. The life of a, a depressed old man who tells people to quiet down in the morning when they wake him up, and he's got to go to work anyway. So what? He's le- he's le- leaving for work, and he's telling people to shut up. They're they're always like what? They're like oh like we got to make this movie about this old man and like let's make it dramatic so like let's make him really sad and pathetic and he's really old and he's a loser it's like it's like like, but you it's it's like like the most boring take approach on the character it's like you the thing about it is right like if it was clear that like he is depressed that's one thing but you don't find out that mutt is dead until like 60 percent of the way through the film Right, I mean, I was spoiled on that a long time right, ago. Right, right, but you, and you, like, yeah, he's getting like but, you see yeah, his, you, you see don't... the divorce papers, you see the divorce papers in yeah. his in his uh, apartment before, you know, and the, right then, right at the beginning, kind of, but you don't know his son is dead. You don't know anything. There's not like a picture. They don't, don't really give you anything there, before the plot there's starts. There's not like a picture of him on the wall with like his, his, a flag underneath you know like that they give to the you know people who's mm. like they sh- there should have been something like that there should have been like a nice like uh tracking shot you know of his whole apartment you know leading over to indy you know and we see all the different props and things from his past instead and- he's like waddling around in his boxers like shuffling around like the the fucking brave like he's shuffling around like a brave like, moment he, yeah to show off your old body Dude, he, I mean, he looks great. He does look really good. He looks I really feel like good. they they must have touched him up though, because I don't think that that's <laughs> you think all they, him. they Tom Cruise. Th- Mackenzie really thinks that they made him look younger, even on his old, even the old version. Really, she really was thinking that. You um, know, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. This whole movie is a big ego trip. Um, so it would make sense. So, so he goes to school. Everyone and who ever worked on that, they're they're uh, he's teaching. They, they've been locked away in a vault after they're done filming. Right, right. After they're done with the VFX. Oh yeah, so no, those that, people, that those secret can't get out. Those people are never seeing the light of day. Yeah. They're being buried like the like the pharaoh <laughs> servants. Pharaohs of old, yeah, yeah. Um, right. So then he's teaching, right? And he's te- you know, it's like his classroom's all fucking dingy, and he's teaching. It's he's like teaching like freshmen art anthropology or something nobody cares nobody does the reading he's gonna spoon feed it to him you know i guess i'll spoon feed this is it on to the you. this anybody do the reading this is on the test mr jones your cock is out again <laughs> i'm gonna sp- <laughs> guess i'll spoon feed it to you <laughs> um just give him an all an a go home um What's go, that smell? go live Someone somewhere shit themselves go, go- <laughs> Go, go! Li- We're being so ageist. It's um, I know. It's really I know. And, and you're, you're, well, I'm I'm just leaning into it because you know you keep making these depends jokes. Well, the f- it, the diaper of destiny uh, w- really took a lot of time away from something else like I could have been watching. There's really nothing good to watch right now, though. 
There's, 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 yeah. Nothing that my, I can get McKenzie to also buy, buy in on. Yeah, um, I, I saw, I've been seeing a couple of good movies recently. I saw... She, she'll probably like The Killer. You guys like should that. watch the, the huh? X, the, the movie X. Have you seen that movie? X. With um Mia Goth. And then they did a, a horror they film. Did a, it's a horror film. They did a sequel or a prequel film after that called Pearl, just pearly things. And uh, yeah, they were both they were both really good. They like surprised me. X was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, and I was like really actually into it. And then so we watched Pearl, the prequel, the next night, and it was like a really good like double feature companion piece. Mia Goth was great in it. I don't like watching horror movies though. So it wasn't like a. I, I think you'd I think you'd like it. It was it wasn't like your, thought, your typical thought, horror movie. I thought about watching those movies and then I was like, nah. Yeah, th- those but, were good. But maybe but maybe I should reconsider. No, yeah, they were definitely. Um, maybe I should reconsider. They're, they're not really like horror movies, like how you're thinking. I think I think you'll enjoy them. Um, yeah, then I, I saw the killer. So I've been watching some some pretty uh, pretty decent stuff recently. I just you know nothing for this nothing to actually talk about in this. Podcast. Yeah, but it's like when, once you watch those movies, then you've watched them, and there's nothing else good to watch. Right, and then that's the trick. That's the fucking trick. Yeah. So anyway, he's, he's teaching this class. It's you know whatever, and one person though, there's one person who answers it. Who answers the question? She's like, and but he and he's, oh my God. and he's somehow specifically this day, this fucking second, teaching about the exact th- only thing that is what this chick knows about and is interested in you know like and then that goes back to the dial of archimedes it's always like that in these fucking scripts he's like he's like teaching about like the battle of syracuse which is like when archimedes like broke the dial right and and uh yeah it's like how how fucking convenient and 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 some chick shows up and she's like she's like she's like oh the antikythera or whatever. Before she even had a line of dialogue they show her her they show her and you're and you're they show her and you're like Oh no! Please, she's got this like smug, they're, like attitude. They're cutting between her. It's this Kathleen Kennedy insert character where Kathleen's really just like in the background, like like you know, be more annoying, like egging her on, like no, don't be afraid to push the smugness. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be as smug as you possibly can. Like it's endearing. Smug, People will like it. Here's what I call it: smug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> So, um, cause like, cause, uh, cause it's, it's, if, you, it's not, if there's a bug, like, uh, you get a bug in your rug and, and you know, they know that they're, sm- you know, they're smug. Like, it's, it's not like she's some like, uh, sexy femme fatale Catwoman type character. In no way is she sexy. No, no. She, she's not a bad looking girl. I mean, she, she's, she's, uh, she's not a, she's, hold on. Let's, let's go down the line at, uh, uh, like a, the, the, she's got a mug on her. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a mug she's, on her, she's bro. She's not ugly, she's, but, but she's she's, got she's, an, she's acting like this like femme fatale, like sexy kind of like super confident character, and it doesn't like match her look. I like, I her, she, she's kind of like manic. The, the, here's the thing. Yeah, the, here's the thing. The woman herself that they chose, she probably has it looks good like in her own life. But whatever they did to her in this movie, she did not. She looked like a like a young man. Yeah, she it, a complete a complete surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm really I'm really going in. No, but no, a, it, a complete it's just surfboard. Like a mismatch the, of, of the, tones. Like like features. Like they wanted her to be like this like uh, sexual conqueror. Feature. Like like this like she, they they wanted her to be like like you know the like this like, like, a, like a, a young feminist, Indiana like Jones. like feminist like empowerment. Yeah, like they they wanted her to thing. be like this this chick who's like, like gets a lot of ass and like you know she, she she's like she's like, like Indy when he was young. She's like in control. Oh man, I I did not get any of that from her. Like, That's what they wanted. They wanted, yeah. So well, here's but they the thing. Didn't cast it she, right. Here's the thing, right? She's or they got didn't write it right. Features like a young Ray Fiennes, <laughs> this woman. I mean, her, she she like hawkish. Yeah, she, hawkish. She looks like a, like a bird. Yeah, but like not a sexy bird. Like, She's not sexy. Like there is not a single second of this movie where you're like, where you're like, you know, she call, me. She called herself me, attractive. Later on, she's like, "I'm, I'm, I'm attractive. I'm intelligent. She, and you she, know, she, self reliant. She's like, she's I'm like the best. Eyeing guys up in the movie. And, like, yeah, and she's like she, thinking she, about she's like, like she's got like, all these man whores around her. Right. Like she, 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 she's ready to just like, she's like, like let her like let him like plow like, yeah, like go to town. She's like really like eyeing up dick throughout the movie, which is great. But she like, never I, actually fucks anyone. She, never. No. She, oh, she no. just kind of like infers that she would fuck. Someone. She infers that she's like thinking about it. 
Right. But she's like, like it's like, like it's like, like there's in, all this eye candy it's around. It's like in she's her. Like, it's like mm, in I'll her. I'll take a little bit of that. <laughs> so it but, was gross. So dude. before, yeah, it really was. It was. It made me uncomfortable and not in my pants, in my heart. Um, she's like, she was like biting her lip. <laughs> dude, and she's like, like this woman, like uh, not to say that this woman isn't good looking in her own right, like it, but in this movie, in the context that they portray, it was she was. I'm ta- I'm like I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb here and just and say busted. <laughs> she was not. She was busted, busted. bro. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm she's sorry. She's not a bad looking. She, she is. She's a normal she looking is. woman. No, she does not look as good as the as as the average woman. I'm going out. I'm gonna. Go, I'm. Gonna, they. She was completely miscast. <laughs> or or like I don't know what they were doing to her she's face. Just like yeah, she's like lanky and, and yeah, like <laughs> like hawkish. <laughs> like and and she's got like the 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 haircut that's not super flattering and you know just just like, in the the outfits that aren't super flattering. Like a young like like it like like William Defoe. Defoe, like William Defoe as as a young woman. Like the thing is, is like Indy when he was young. William Defoe, not now, but when he was young, he was super hot. He was he was sexy. I, I like I'm like just, he was literally like like I'm getting stiff just thinking about. There's steam like emanating from his person, you know, in the original yeah. films. You know, there's like scenes where he's shirtless and sweaty, and he's always fucking. Like he's, he's, a always, he's a he's a man. He's always he's a man's and, man, and he's smart too. You know, and he's he's good with his words, and he, he's he's confident, and he's all these things that a man every man wants to be. So if you're gonna do a, a female version of him, that's a cool idea. Who wants to be this chick? But don't make her like this, like yeah, this like this lady, like. <laughs> You have there's do you can, that version of Indy, you can but cast, as an actual like you, femme fatale you can cast cool character. anybody in the world, almost, and you pick her. Yeah, like I'm trying to think about who who you would actually you know cast in that it, role dude, now. I'm t- I'm telling you, there's definitely someone out there who could do it million, the way but, you could write it, and she's supposed to be this <laughs> kind of like morally gray character. So it, it they had an opportunity. To kind of craft and, a fun character for Indy to work with, and just the way that the way that this girl was directed, the, this woman, this lady, yeah, uh, this young Ray Fiennes, um, <laughs> what, dude, like I'm telling you, like the the female Voldemort, the female the female Voldemort, right? Um, no, like as soon as you see her, you're like, oh, and no. once she gets in the picture, she's she's on screen like for like seventy percent of the time, and she's really the only woman in the film. Other right. than other than this, other than an also weird, tonally very strange, um, CIA agent lady. Yeah, there's like a CIA agent who they introduce who I'm like, okay, there's like another character who right. is this, and they, then 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 they like proceed to like just kill her off like like twenty minutes without later. her doing really anything other and than it's like why was other, she even in the movie? Yeah, it, I really didn't get that. Just to meet some sort of like diversity quota. She, it, it was yeah, it was strange because like yeah, she's. She's African American, and she's like, she's like a, but she's like a CIA agent who's supposed to be in charge of this op, who's like supposed to be in charge of like the, I guess, asset that is Mads Mikkelsen's character. Yeah. But he doesn't listen to a thing, a thing she says. She has no, no power. She over has him. no power over anyone. She has no control over the situation. Um, she she's heading this team, and then her 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 like uh her guy is like. Murder it's of not civilians. her guys. It's not her guys. It's Mads Mikkelsen's guys. So who she, who is she then? She is like the Just another she, guy. She, no, she is like the CIA agent that is like um supposed to be supposed to be in charge of him, right? But his guys are his guys, right? You're introduced to his guy to him and his guys, and his his uh, his one dude is like reading a book on on like German. But he's like he's that, like the Boyd Holbrook, right? He's like he's like an American. He's like an American, but like, why is he working? I, I didn't get that. Why is he yeah, working for the Germans? Yeah, none of this shit was explained very it, well. Like, why why is he like trying to go back to the Reich? Because like he's not going to fit in as a German. I guess that's he's why not, that's why he's studying up. But he's not going to fit in. He looks totally American. He looks like he could be a German. Not at all. He looks like there are a lot of Germans he, who don't really look German. He looks like a young. He, he he looks very American. Like he looks like he's got an American man's features. Boyd Holbrook. Yeah, Hall Hallbrook. So and, and, and so there's that guy. So so Mads Mikkelsen has two has two muscles. He's got two two main muscle man he's muscle like, man. He's blonde. He's German. This guy. Wow. Yeah, he looks like he looks like an American bro. Yeah, like he does he does look especially like especially with like the 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 way that they made him up and stuff. Even even when later on when he's in a Nazi fucking uniform, he I'm like this guy is American. Like he's not, 
anyway, so so there's that guy who's like completely inept. Number one, dumb as a dumb as a doorknob. And then there's like even dumber henchmen who's literally just he. This guy literally exists to to like emphasize the fact that Indy is old. Yeah, constantly he's, he's, they have to remind you that he's, he's old. big. This this other the other muscle, you know, the other muscle muscular. Yeah, I like that guy. That guy was cool. He was he was cool, but he also he didn't say anything ever. And he all, didn't need to. He didn't His need to. But, for but all he did was like make it so that Indy could not like. M- old man his way out of the situation he was like like and he went like i can't tell you how i, I really want to do a, huge i, I want to do a counter of like how many times like in like ca- literally count right like one two three four, like like indiana just like tried to like like run away you know like do his little thing or whatever and then like run yeah. away you know like and like just ran into that guy they kept doing that yeah they kept fucking doing it it's like, it's like every, you don't you don't have to remind us that he's old every we get it <laughs> every time they were doing it i'm like i'm like damn i hope he didn't break his wrist <laughs> like or shatter a bone break another leg on set. right yeah like is he okay like like every time you're like oh yeah he's old he can't just muscle his way out of situations anymore right <laughs> uh like so he's got to use his, his largest muscle his penis um so oh my cock's and, out again so, so anyway yeah like wombat shows up you know she shows up and sh- and like so it's her and, and the and the cia later they're in harris they're in indy's classroom they're in his classroom yeah and you know she you know, answers the question, whatever, and then oh, turns out Indiana Jones is retiring. If he's retiring, why is he teaching this? Thanks class? for putting up with me. Thanks for putting up with me. Ah, uh, like they give him a clock or whatever. You know, it's like this little party thing, and then he leaves, and he, he just hands the clock to some hobo. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Yeah, that was a good. Part. I like that. that was a good part. Um, I was like, I was like, yeah, he doesn't. I was like, they're giving this clock. He doesn't want this. More junk. More junk. So, um, and then he goes and just like goes to his diner, and, and Wombat meets him there. She's like, "Remember me?" And I'm thinking, like, am I supposed to remember this chick? <laughs> like from anywhere else, anytime? No, no, no. Yeah, remember me? She, he's like, character. He's like, he's like, who? She's like, she's like, it's been 18 years, Harrison, or whatever. <laughs> she calls him Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> they fucked up. <laughs> no, she keeps calling him Indy, and like out of her mouth, like I didn't mm. like that. Yeah. I didn't like her. He, like, Indy. Like, she. Like here's the thing. She. He's her godfather. He hasn't seen her for 18 years. She was 12 the last time we saw her, and she keeps, like, acting like she knows him. You don't know From shit. From what? From who? How? Yeah. From, like, you, what? Oh, you, you, what, you, like, hung out with him uh, and your dad a couple times? Like, and you, you and, know and, Indy. And she, she knows every language that was ever invented. She, oh, she Don't worry, knows, her she, dad used to leave her post-it notes around written she, in every language she, known to man. She knows languages. <laughs> she does, yeah. She knows so, how to use, use her, her sexy body, so, too. So, so you, he meets, she meets up with him, and she's like, she's like, yeah, she, you she know. She knows how to get what she the, wants. The antiquette there, like, drove my dad crazy. He was always looking for it. Like, you guys lost it. And I'm thinking, like, did they, and what, based on what she says, I'm thinking, like, did they lose it after they got it? Like, uh, and it off screen? Because they, they, you, uh, you are shown that they absolutely have it. They have it, and then I think Indy like donated it to the museum, right? No, no, he just hid it there. He just hid it there. He just hid it. He just hid it there. Yeah, because yeah, it was just hidden. Everything belongs in the museum. Well, because it was driving her dad crazy. Apparently, he was like, he's obsessed. Right, he was like, with he was like it, writing yeah. on post. You know, he was like writing on letters and sending Jones and and Indy, Indy's like, I gotta take it. I gotta take it away from you. And he's like, the guy's like. Destroy it, Hindi. Just destroy it. There's a part where, like, uh, he goes. Promise she, me. She goes, like, yeah, like the only thing you know r- real is like money or whatever. And, and he's like, I I don't believe in magic, but you know I've seen some shit. It's like, what, <laughs> like you, you don't believe in magic. You have literally witnessed magic. Are you kidding me, bro? And aliens. You've seen it all, man. Everything. Like every movie he encounters. Like there was a part where there was a part where a guy. His heart gets ripped out, and his its heart is still beating while the guy's still alive outside of his body, like the Kali Ma. Kali Ma, uh, man, when I saw with that, my, when I was with mind control. When I saw that when I was a little kid. That scared the shit out yeah, of me. Yeah, that was a scary one. I thought about that for a long time. Um, as a child. he he literally meets like a like a, a thousand year old like like wizard or some shit like like some guy protecting like the fucking oh, the, holy the gr- grail. Yeah, man, yeah, protecting the holy grail. He literally finds the holy grail <laughs> in the Last Crusade. You don't believe in magic, bro? Oh my god! You've seen some shit. He, the Ark of the Covenant literally melts the faces of a, of a, of a hundred Nazis. 
or whatever. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I don't know if I believe. I don't believe in magic, but dude, and that what line, that line was so contrived of her. She's like, "All I believe in is money." Yeah, come on. That's all. Like it's so contrived. It's like it's like could they not give her a character? Like not only she she's literally Kathleen Kennedy. Not only. <laughs> <laughs> not only not only does the char- her characterization suck like not only was the actress not the right person for the role not only is she m- making me question like if i'm straight because i am and i'm not attracted to her at all as a woman so what's going on there not only am i thinking like th- how did they splice ray fine's dna into an already existing person not only is she absolutely fucking insufferable i was scrubbing through the movie and like every time i would scrub to a new scene to like find where i left off she's like she's like she she's like mugging <laughs> she's like she's got it's like a close up of her i'm like where is indy i can't even find I him no where is it where like is she's he? in every moment every scene Dude, like and she it's, is it's like constantly in the fucking movie i mean She's really in it. She's, re- I mean, she is the movie. <laughs> She's the movie. She thought she was the lead. Somebody told her, Harrison Ford is here in between naps. To help, yeah, to help you out. <laughs> He's here in between naps. You have to lead this film. And she was not, I'm sorry, okay? I, maybe she was trying really hard, but she was not up to it. And they yeah. did not, and they did not direct her. A pr- here's the, it's really the director's fault. It's really the film, the crew's fault, right? The, the, the people who made this movie, who wrote this movie, they did not give her anything to work with. Cause like, what's her character first? What you, you get there and you're thinking like, okay, she's like trying to like, like f- f- solve her dad's like work, like life work, life work or whatever, you know, like he was obsessed with this and he took it away. Um, and no, said she, he was going to destroy she it. Just loves money. That's Why it. Mackenzie or, or, or Forrest, <laughs> if, 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 if the, if he wanted if her dad wanted that to be destroyed so bad, why didn't he fucking take a hammer to it? Because he can't destroy a, pre- a precious antiquity. That didn't make any sense. He's Indiana Jones. It belongs in a museum. No, 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 no. Her dad. Oh, her dad. He was like he was like it must be destroyed, Indy. You have to destroy it. Why would why didn't he just destroy Maybe it? Maybe it's like the Horcrux. Like you can't you can't destroy it think, unless you have the sword of Gryffindor. I think you can. I think you. I think they could have just at any point just taken a hammer to it. Yeah. That, like that defeats the entire film. It's melted, bro. Put it on like, fire. Like you have it, any you have it. I guess they never got it. Did, I guess did they never get it back from Hans? Wait, hold on. It doesn't defeat the film. Did they never get it back from Hans? What? The, or Mads? Mads Mikkelsen. The dial? Yeah, because well, the half the dial's like at the he, college, right? Well, well they ha- but here's the thing. no no no. I'm saying like because. It, so she shows up, right? And she's got the CIA on her ass. She's she leads Mads Mickelson straight to the dial, right? Yeah. Um, and she is like tell, she like spins up this yarn. She spins him a yarn about how she's like looking for it and like oh it got lost in this river. We can go find it. I want to go on an adventure. He's like what adventure? I've got it right here. He's dumb as a doornail. So he's so literally she, dumber than yeah. Dirt. No, he keeps getting had by her. So she she absconds with the dial. Then she takes it. She just steals it. She, he's to auction it on the black market, leaving Indy to die horribly, yeah, but he, to be murdered right, by right. Nazis. So, so she steals it, right? So she steals it. She steals it, and and there's this whole chase, and you know, yeah, 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 yeah like, like, oh yeah, like, like, somehow Harrison Ford is like the is like ducking and weaving. The the ooh, uh, ooh. like the the, ooh, the black uh, C- CIA officer lady. She's like, she's like after his, them. She's on his ass, but she's like morally conflicted. About, well, well, about, she, about the murder. Well, she's got like, yeah, she's got a mission. She's right? got a mission, but then, she, but, like, her, you know, her her associates are like murdering like, civilians, like and she's weird. like, she's like, hey, you just murdered a civilian. I'm taking you in. And they're like, hey, it's it's chill. They're like, and, they're like and, it's all good. And, and she's, she's like, like, she's like, uh, oh, okay, okay, I, I, yeah. But I'm not cool with I'm not cool with this though. Like, what was that about? And like, that, what's that the make, point of that? It was extremely confusing. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, so now she's gonna be like this main character who's like gonna have this like emotional arc where she like learns to be, well, do the right thing it, it was just like is she in charge of anything what is why her is she here what yeah it, it's like why it's like they added the her film? in the script for literally no reason it didn't make we any, already we already know the sense. nazis are ruthless so like killing her off wasn't like a surprise or like or like didn't make me fear more fearful of the nazis right. than i was so they introduced this character and killed her off 20 minutes later. She took up like a good chunk of screen time. 
They ke- and like when she this was alive, two and a half when, hours when long she for was, no reason. When she was alive, they kept showing her. They kept showing her like, like being she like was important, concerned. Like, yeah, like like, like yeah, like like, like her, there's so, right. her actions were going to dictate the the course of the right, plot. Right, like like there's some reason we should be con- we should be aware that she's concerned. Right. Right. Why? Then there was none. Maybe there, she had more like character development or like more of a thing to do. Like, and they cut her, cut it out, or like. But like, she died so soon. Yeah. So yeah. like, where would that have been in the movie? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, it kind of felt like there was a lot of stuff that they like might have cut around or cut out. Or, where's like, the, where's the deleted, direct, where, where's the full scenes. cut of this? Yeah, where's know? the four hour the dial cut? cut? But the thing is, like, what could she even have done? Because it's I don't know. Yeah, like, it's like she was not in control of the situation at all. She just lets them kill civilians. Just random people, she lets them kill. Um, she has, she, she's not like, wait, what? Like, I'm gonna kill you now. Like, I, like you are yeah, you, obviously you're out just, of control. Yeah, you're just killing Americans. She doesn't like on, call in yeah. any backup. She doesn't like tell the other people that they're working with, like, hey, these guys are fucking out of control. She just keeps her mouth shut. Why? Why? Yeah, if she's, and, like, if she's so against it. And like her role is like to be like watching over. Mads Mikkelsen, who is a known Nazi, just have her be like the whole the the, the boy Halbrook character, or like make those two get two characters the same character. Yeah. Like what? Why? Why? Yeah. Even... Like like yeah. Why not have him be in the CIA and he yeah. turned on the CIA and he's helping Mads because he wants to you know he or wants or just he, just have he her just delete him out of the script and just have her be that character. Right. Like, right. If you want, yeah. If you need the, if you if, need a woman, if you need like another yeah, more, woman, more, which, more, more which women. It sh- it, the movie could have used more women. Yeah, just the one is kind of strange. It was very strange, especially considering... Apparently, Marion was, like, in earlier drafts. Like, she was in more of the action scenes, uh, and they cut her out. It's... it's. But I guess that's yeah, a good thing. Well, <laughs> th- th- then the thing is, you have to have another You have to have another set of paramedics. Right, you have more to have insurance. Another amb- ambulance on, on set. Double depends. Um, double, <laughs> double the number. <laughs> no, she's not that old. No, she's yeah. She's old as Indy. She, no, no, she, she's, like, 20 years younger than him. Yeah. Yeah, but like True. they tried to play it off like she did look as old as him at the end. Right. No, kind she of. she's she's I mean Which, compared to Indy, she's a spring chicken. Right. She really really I mean I mean, truly. So yeah, and th- so, you know, the the basically Mads gets the dial, right? Or no no, she she absconds with the dial. She makes her way across the ocean yeah, with it. She absconds. She, she yeah. takes it. She takes it. She really it. does abscond. Um Indy is caught and then he breaks his way out somehow. Uh, he, he, he rides he's framed for the, the he, for the murders he, very loosely. So he's he's forced very, to escape very loosely uh, on a horse. Well, that was, that well, was like well, a they, dumb well, scene. He, he they 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 were just like taking him. They were just like taking him. They they he wasn't. They weren't taking him because he was framed for the murders. They were taking him because of his connection to Wombat. Because she came to see him, and he had the dial. But but he has to clear his name, his good name. There, there was like this weird like <laughs> thing about how like he's wanted for murders. Like why, like, why would he murder? Why would, why would he, he be, shoot his two colleagues why, in the head and then call the police? Like he called the police. Yeah, it doesn't make any why sense. Why would then? Why would he be? Yeah, like just say what the, happened. Yeah, it's like like this like, like precious antiquity. Nobody stuff nobody else saw anything. So then. Then, like, yeah, he he, he like, he, like he rides a to, horse. He has, he has to he, like, ride a rides horse. a horse through the fucking subway. <laughs> gets on and then gets on another train. You know, basically, then he gets on a plane, right? And yeah. then we're in like Marrakesh, <laughs> and and Wombat's in Marrakesh, and she's at a hotel. Oh wait, no. First, no, no, he gets off the train, and then he meets up with with Sala, with Sala, who is they must have exhumed him <laughs> from the scene. <laughs> How the man is the man is basically I, on a ventilator. I've, I've seen him like in interviews recently, and he looks better. I think they like aged him up for the movie. Really? I swear, because like he's been in other things, and like I've I've seen him other places, and he doesn't like his his wrinkles don't look that sunken in. He they dude <laughs> they did like some sort of like like magic like makeup. Okay, on I him. believe so, like, that. I, I, believe I think that. they wanted him to be How? as as old as Indy. Like like Indy like Harrison Ford was like concerned that he didn't look old enough and like he didn't want to be like uh, uh, you know out, out, the old, out yeah, young the, the, the only old ass <laughs> yeah so <laughs> same with Marion how they aged her up yeah I think they they de-aged Harrison and they aged up everyone else that's got to be it <laughs> they're trying to get them all on the same level because he looked yeah he looked awful <laughs> it looked like he had just been like torn from his crypt <laughs> like what <laughs> like like exu- like like unearthed from the sands of the Sahara like. He, yeah, he was on an episode of Face Off. That's what I was thinking. And okay. he, he looks good. 
He looked normal. He looks good. I might have been like a couple years old. I saw, I saw like a preview for it like the other day for Face Off. Man, he, and he was he, he was like judging it, and he looked he fine. He is so. They made him look like he was John on, Reese Davies. He they made him look like he was on Death's Door. And he he had no point to be in the movie either. He looks fine. Wait, okay, let's see, let me see this. <laughs> let me see this. The, he's a cabbie. He literally looks fine. How old is he? Oh, he's also seventy nine. Wow, same age. Nice. As Harrison when they yeah. Filmed. Well, no, he's two years younger than Harrison when they filmed it. I guess. Right, right. He looks fine, dude. Oh, oh yeah, they. Oh wow, they 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 did our they did our boy. What did they do to him? They really fucked him up. <laughs> they had him all fucked up. So, yeah, he meets he meets Sala, and you know Sala's like a cab driver. Um, so he's living the American dream. Question mark. Oh, he was Gimli too, wasn't he? Was he Gimli too? Yeah, John Reese Davies. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was really good as Gimli. Yeah. Um, classic, classic performance. So, he's known for his acting. As yeah. As some actors are. Yeah, he's looking good now. Yeah. yeah I, not in the movie though. Oh my goodness. So so anyway, yeah. So so he calls Sala, who like is like a a cab driver in New York. So he's living the American dream. Um. <laughs> Ended up as a what kind dirty of arc, what kind of arc is this? Everyone ended up in like a sad like position in life. Like yeah, and, well, and, no, and, he's not that sad. He has a family. He has a family. Right, and Andy, Andy's childless and alone. Sal is a fucking dirty cab driver. Right, right. Like in his fucking eighties. Uh, hey, well, here's the thing. A, a, a cabbie, being a cabbie is a, is a noble profession, especially in New York. However, it's know. it's not that grand, you know. It's like you would think he might be somewhere a little no, more like, grand. Like I thought he had investments and shit. Right. Like where's his investments? So, but he, he does. Like a nice but place when he's in but Egypt. he does have a nice family. He has he has a family. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like he seemed pretty pretty like set up in Egypt. I guess in Egypt the dollar goes a lot further. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, he seemed like he was pretty set up in Egypt, but like I thought in, he was in America, in America, I didn't realize he was poor. In America, he's like living in like a small apartment. With and like he's his like family. poor too. I guess it's just New York, but like. It's like well, he's just living. And he had a nice house. He, and he's like living. Do you remember a, a, in like the, the life of a, of a depressed Raiders old man. of the Last Ark? He had like a, a dope like silk robe that yeah. he like he wore around his fucking nice house. He, he's he's just living the life of a depressed old man. He's got cash. It doesn't seem like it. He, he I, I guess he just doesn't I guess care. He's ma- so disillusioned. Marion fucking Cravenwood took it. Took every, every, he's so <laughs> everything in the divorce. Like, so like she dis- sucked him dry. He's so disillusioned is the thing. He's so disillusioned. You're sad about your son dying in Vietnam. I'm gonna divorce you and take all your fucking money. Yeah, because I'm sad too. Because I'm also sad. Get happy and what? then we'll talk. What, dude? Like, why did they not show us that Mutt was dead right off the bat? Why didn't we? That have is a- so confusing. Because it, then it's like, oh. Indy is sad. Why don't we have a, a Mutt Williams prequel it's movie like, before this even came out? It's like, oh, Indy, of him fighting in, in Vietnam. Indy, did I just miss the photo of some or so, some kind of like in, like on screen thing that shows that Mutt is dead? Because the thing is, until he says that, you're literally just thinking like, why is he so old? <laughs> like, why? It's like, why is he? Why is he so old? And like, like, like is he just depressed because he's old? Like, it doesn't make like. There's no reason that you're given other than yeah. he, that he is old. Yeah, I mean, I knew Mutt was dead, but like, yeah, if I hadn't known that, I would just be wondering. I knew because you told me, but the movie didn't. Oh my god! <laughs> but the movie didn't tell me. I knew because Forrest had told me, but yeah. I did not know because it's the so movie funny. told me. Right? It's, uh, that's that's such like a like a bold move. Like, let's murder India's son in Vietnam. That's sad. it's such a that's so sad. And then don't tell the audience. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there was something on the wall. Maybe we missed it. I'm gonna go back. I'm. I will unfortunately fire fire it up again. I'll warm it up. I'll warm up. I'll warm it. We can watch it anytime, you guys. Any. I own it. We own. I we, have. We both own I have it. a digital license. <laughs> to, that to, entitles you to watch the film at any this, at any point. I could watch it every day. <laughs> <laughs> I could just buy. I I could buy a television, and just play it on that television twenty four seven. It was the best Indiana Jones movie yet. <laughs> it was my favorite Indiana jail. Jones movie. Straight. To they jail. finally like really like like hon- the honed in on the, on the they cracked the formula like after five <sighs> movies and you know multiple episodes of TV. This is the fifth yeah, movie. They, they, oh my they, god. They finally kind of like solidified like like the form the indie formula with this one, and I think I'm excited to see what they do next. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. I think Indy's got another. I think I think Harrison's got at least you know a couple you know two or three four m- more movies in him. At this point, he's looking good. What the? F- <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy? How did you get your hand all the way upside up inside Forrest's ass? <laughs> She's, she's literally she's literally fucking working you like a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Go see it some oh more. Oh my god. Um. So yeah. So yeah. So so they're on their way to Marrakesh, as all Indiana Jones movies eventually are. Yeah, it was a romp. Right? Um. And yeah. turns out, she, and now at this moment we find out that she. That th- that she did not steal the dial just to like do her father's like to like fulfill her father's dream or anything like that. Like she is literally just hawking it. She's like she's at this like the most like un. Um, Who fucking wants this thing? This by most, the, way, the, anyway. the most like. Well, like what least, is it really worth? Yeah, it's just an, an antiquity, you know. She's like, but she's she's trying to sell it for a pretty penny. I she, can get fifty dollars for this. She's like she's like she's like uh, uh, like at a hotel. And there's like a, a black market auction, but like the only doorman is her like little like sidekick boy. Like it's not like the Mona Lisa or and anything. Th- this is the moment when they when they show us when they decide decide to show oh, us yeah, the, that he can fly a plane. The new short round. That yeah. he can fly a plane. Did he have like right. a what was his name? Like like a uh, biscuit or something? Fuck! What was his name? Trunk? No. Tuck Tuck? <laughs> no, that was the name of the car that they drove. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was it? Fuck. Look at the look at this. It, it, uh, it should tell you. It might not even be mentioned in the plot since he was it, so it should, it'll tell you. It'll tell you somewhere. Um, uh, the at a Tangier hotel, Indy disrupts Helena's illegal private auction. Hel- her name is Helena. I never he- got that. Helena. Helena. Her, Helena. I never. I never. Yeah, he just called her Wombat the whole time. Which yeah. Is a, that's better. Wombat. <laughs> that's, that's Why stupid. is her name Wombat? She's not Australian. <laughs> but Voller and his henchmen arrive and steal the artifact. Indy, Helena, and her teen sidekick, Teddy. Teddy? Chase Teddy? them through the streets that, that of really his in name? a tuk-tuk. Yeah. And <laughs> what's it? Dude, oh, yeah, so Teddy. And Teddy is like, what's his thing? Like, he steals. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, like a thief. A, yeah, he's thief. like a petty thief. Yeah, he, um, he has like a shitty like, little like dirty mustache. Like, he's like, got like a he's got like a yeah like a, an adolescent mustache like, a, like one of those adolescent mustaches like that that you like yeah and uh, and, and like he like he, he's like talking to pilot a pilot and like a stewardess like he's like he's like he like got like some kind of like really like rubber bands and and like post-it notes like 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 the like the um uh, controls of an airplane and the dials and stuff and he's like he and like that that's when you know that he will eventually fly a fly a plane God, I know. Yeah, they, they had some setups like that. Like he he wasn't like a very endearing character. He really just kind of faded into the background. He, he Th- was just that like, would have been a chance to have like another like female character. He was the, trying. He, he was trying to steal shit from people. Why 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 wouldn't she have like a like a like a teenage girl sidekick or or like or like a young girl sidekick or something? Yeah, right. Re- like, yeah, his character really if, like. If she's the female indie, then it would make sense that she would have a female short wait, round. What was his name? Teddy. Teddy. I almost forgot it again, and I was just told it. Kind of, kind of, um, kind of like a um, uh, S- Selena Kyle and uh, who, who's who's that like teen? Uh, her yeah, her 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 per, yeah friend Juno, you know like I know who you're talking Juno about. Juno Temple's character in I the know, Dark Knight Rises. I know Rises. who you're talking about. Yeah, don't remember her name, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah, that would have been her good. name like Holly or something. That that, that would have been good. But so yeah, and the thing is like this, it's like okay, a bl- ooh a black market auction. Okay, but it's just like. People sitting around a table, like saying, like one hundred dollars <laughs> or like one hundred thousand, one hundred and five. Reminded me of like the black market auction of dinosaurs in that like shitty uh, Jurassic Park reboot movie. What? Do you remember where they were like auctioning off dinosaurs which, which one? for like rich people? It was one of the movies with um most Chris Pratt. Was it the most recent one? It was just like a shitty, like, was illegal it, auction. I didn't see the most recent one. I didn't see... I don't know if it was the most recent. It might have been the, the second to most recent. I don't feel like I remember that from that movie, but maybe. Dominion. A Jurassic Park Dominion, is right. that what it's called? I think so. I haven't yeah. seen that one. I, I feel like... I kind of feel like I should watch it. Yeah, you, then, should, you should check it out. It's it's it's, a, it's really, really good. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> definitely Forrest definitely is, worth your, your, your time. Forrest is really... Force, they broke Forrest's brain with this one. 
there were definitely dinosaurs in it, and they didn't look like total trash. <laughs> they they look good. Okay. They didn't look fake and okay. CGI. Yeah, I like dinosaurs. Yeah, the the um, there's a part where like they're auctioning off the dinosaurs, and they're like they can be used for combat. You know. <laughs> 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 like, like, like the, to assist your like paramilitary, you know, like, like if, to assist your like tr- your your legal troops or whatever, like, you know, send them in the, with the first wave, like. <laughs> <laughs> and they had these get the, they had these like little like lasers on their guns, literally these lasers on their guns, and like just paint the target. And the dinosaurs, the, the velociraptors are trained to like go after whatever you paint with your gun. But if you already if you already point a gun at someone, <laughs> why don't just fucking pull the trigger and shoot them? From a distance, why? Why like let them like over there like attack <laughs> those guys, and then the dinosaurs Sh- have shock have, and awe, shock and awe. Okay, it's not like the dinosaurs have like body armor or anything. They're not invincible. Ah! There's like beasts. <laughs> like you just shoot them with a gun and they're dead. Shut up, okay? <laughs> Don't worry about that, <laughs> man. <laughs> No, well, well, I, I think the point. Shit, I think that's, the that's point like a, there. That's like a fucking. That's like three hundred thousand dollars per fucking well, dinosaur. If if you have like a child, child soldiers, you just you don't even give them guns. You just give them laser pointers. <laughs> one child, one child with one laser pointer can control fifty velociraptors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, may, maybe. Yeah, I mean, think I, of I, the I savings. Guess, I guess, like you know, every little bit helps. Well, well, and you'll save money on bullets. <laughs> 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 then you got to feed them. Get a, get a few of the velociraptors. You gotta house them. They're huge velociraptors. They, they might eat you. Let's not even mention that. Yeah, I mean, you gotta like, you gotta clean their shit. Anyway, so it's we're we're taken lame. to the lamest fucking black market auction I think I've ever seen in a movie. It was yeah, it was even it, lamer. There were no was dinosaurs. So it was so low energy. It was so like low stakes. It's literally just her standing in front of people at like a card table. Like how many people are familiar with this dial? I mean, I've never heard of it. And, and like I'm thinking like is she and she's only got this like fucking like smug look on her face. So I'm thinking like is she going to like t- sell it to them get the money and then take it cuz she really so, cuz she really wants like, the sarcastic. dial. She's way too sarcastic. She's not sincere. Even when she's being sincere, she's being sarcastic. It's bizarre. It was like one of the worst, like characters. Like they want it. They want it so. They want her so bad to be like the new indie, Can, but they don't know how to write her. Absolutely insufferable. This this <laughs> character. Like like they they just have no like self awareness. I, I can't think of a character from a movie that I found to be more that I have found to be more insufferable <laughs> than this character. <laughs> It's like it's like seriously Who? embarrassing how they they Who? they can't just like inject just a little bit of charm like into her character a little bit of not like not a smidgen because she's always trying to fuck him over yeah she's, like, she's always, always making fun of him always trying to fuck him over uh, uh, but, but and, and like, it's like he's old leave him but, alone but once she's not here's the thing she, event, in, initially she's always trying to fuck him over right S- for some reason but then somehow she develops this like strange like uh, yeah like like emotional connection. For some reason, somehow, some way, she like changes her mind. Right. And then she like is trying to help him, but the thing is, she still has the same fucking look on her face. She's still doing the same like like giving you the same visual cues that she was before she fucked him over. So, it's like you think, "Oh, is she about to fuck him over?" like and you don't feel good that she's not. You know what I'm saying? Like no. it's it's not like, oh, like now they're working together. Like it's like, is she good? Like, does she need to take a shit? And, and, like, <laughs> and Indy wasn't good either. Like Harrison Ford, no, his dude. performance was was not good. I I I heard people online like they were praising his performance. Like he still got it. And I'm like, what movie did you watch? He really didn't know what to do with what she was giving him. They didn't have like yeah good I chemistry. Like. Not at all. There was no chemistry. Yeah, it was like two, it was like when you mix like two inert substances, like lead. You know, I usually fuck my female leads, like but lead and not dirt. this one, like lead, like lead and dirt, <laughs> like <laughs> like that's the amount of like like the reaction between those two substances, like that was the same as like the chemistry that they had. <laughs> it, it was just like yeah, movies should have. Did they like screen test them together, or did they just just give her the job without even? Did did they just see like her? What's her TV show that she got famous um, for? She was on a television show. That's how she like got her uh, flea bag. Oh my god! Thank God I have never watched that show. <laughs> it's probably, she is, she it's, is in it. It's probably like a good show. I have, dude. I can't stand this chick now. 
I mean, I, she's it, probably good in like other stuff. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just like the the way Kathleen directed her. And I don't know. Probably. I don't want to disparage the woman. I'm yeah. trying not to be disparaging. I mean, she got this far in Hollywood for a reason, uh, I think, dude, right? Uh, yeah, but the people, I, w- I will say that the people that told me that Fleabag was good are not insufferable. They, yes. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, um, it, it, in it's some probably, ways, it's some, probably a show that's taste. not really made for us. It's probably, yeah, it's probably you know made for a different type of person. Right, right. And like, I guess this chick was like supposed to get like the, the like insufferable like woman audience. Ka- Kathleen Kennedy, you know, um, she she was a, uh, f- you know, flicking her bean one night <laughs> <laughs> with a tub of ice cream. You know, watch it, watch it. We're trying to find dude, something to watch. You think, dude, she is so loaded. You think she flicks her own bean? Yeah, she, she's probably got like a bean flicker, you know, <laughs> uh, down there. And she's got her a tub of ice cream. She's like, what, are, what am I going to watch on the old television? <laughs> a tub of ice cream? <laughs> yeah. She's like in her silk robe, you know, in her nice house. And she's like trying to find something to watch. And she's like, what's this show? Fleabag. Oh, this, this lady looks like, you know, she looks real dandy. And uh, she's like, just made the decision on the spot right there that she was going to cast her in the new... And, you know, there's no oversight. You know, there's no... Like, she's this, the leader. This So whatever this she says chick, goes. Wombat, like, always looks like she knows something that you don't. But then it turns out she does not know anything. She knows nothing other than how to speak every single language, apparently. She knows, yeah, a lot, but then it, it, very but little. Like, she, but, like, she knows nothing. But, like, she's, thinking, she's, like, she's like so worldly and blah, 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 blah. And, like... She's had so much she, dick. She's, she's had so much dick, right? Like, which, bravo. Yeah, that's Bravo. great. That's great. We but never the see her get any she dick. She never pulled, like, she, when is she going to pull one over on the bad guys? Like, she, True. Her, her one thing that she does, oh, well, okay, so they, they go, right? Like, they're, they're at this auction, and like, oh, Han, Hans or whatever, I, oh, not Hans, um, Mads, he just, yeah. like, walks in, he's like, all right, give me this. It's so low energy. He's got deep pockets. It's so low energy. And he played it really like like restrained because he was afraid of of taking it too far into the it's crazy Nazi so, territory. It's so low energy. He's like, give me the thing. <laughs> he was still good though. That's the thing. Like even he, even him playing it like really like straight and low energy. He was like okay. He, he just I I just love him. I I like him a lot. I like him a lot. He was okay. Like this is probably his worst role that I've seen him in. This is probably his worst like the worst like. You know who would have been good as Hel- Helena Shaw? Rebecca Ferguson. You're right. She would have been good. You're right. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree. Like she would have been fucking, I agree. She she would have been cool as fuck in this role and like she would have played it. She's just such a good actress. She is. She's awesome. You you, you said you don't know who she is. <laughs> I, she, I she's uh, I'm going I'm I'm just I'm going with your gut on this one. She's uh Lady Jessica in, in Dune. Oh, yeah, mm, she's a little too old. Too old? She's a little too old for this. How how old do you think Helena is? Helena. Not as old as her. Not as old as her? No, I think Helena's like 30 or something. I, yeah, I, I guess the, I guess she's like 40. I don't know. She, how, how Helena's is? not like it's not like what was Helena supposed to be 30? Wombat what? was supposed to be 30? I don't know. Okay, know. she seemed like young, like early twenties. He, he said he last, he last saw her when she was twelve, and then the what eighteen years passed or something. Yeah, she didn't seem like she was thirty. I wasn't getting thirty vibes from her. I was. How old do you think she was? Uh, like t- mid twenties, like twenty, really? a solid twenty five. Oh wow, no, I, I was I was thinking she's more like in her in her mid thirties. Mid thirties? <laughs> she was she was hawkish. <laughs> mid thirties? <laughs> She'd been around the block a few times. Yeah, she's not. I yeah yeah I mean maybe uh, maybe you're right maybe she, she, Rebecca no, she, Ferguson she's a little too old, unfortunately too old. unfortunately she's I think she's a little just a little she could have pulled it off though a little too motherly in her in her look maybe I she's just such a good actress and she's and she, a great she, actress I feel like she could really do like the femme fatale like Indiana adventurer but thing. dude no like with the, the the lines that this person was given and I mean it had to be somebody I'm trying to think of someone younger I like I, like yeah. uh, so. Who, so, who's who, who's the who's like the the female like Tomb Raider? Well, I mean, um, I guess they're all female, but I mean, like the the new the new the new Tomb Raider. Is a new one? It was it like came and went. Oh. Walton Goggins was in it. It wasn't very good. Um, let's see um, her name's like Alicia Vandeventer or something. Oh, the the, the mo- yeah, 2018. Yeah. Oh, she would have been good. She yeah, she could have done this. Vikander. The candor, yeah, like give it, give it to her. I mean, there's plenty of actresses out there who could have done this role. I um, feel like and not been super fucking annoying. 
Definitely. No, there's people. People exist. Yeah, because it's exists. like you're casting. You're, she's like, she's like. She was. At, I cannot express. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot communicate with words. The words of the English language that I have in my body, in my brain, how insufferable she was throughout the entire fucking movie. And, I almost want to like, cry. The, the, yeah, the movie was really depressing to watch. Uh, I almost want to. I almost James wanna... James Mangold like he, like he's such an over like rated director. I feel like like he he did Logan, which I didn't even really like that much. I thought it was okay. It, Logan then, was then, okay on one the like watching the movie first one time, time one time yeah, view one time view uh, like oh this is a different kind of X Men movie. It, it's like the Walking jo- uh, Phoenix Joker movie, like a one time view. You know that that was fun. Right. Good good time. Never gonna watch that again. Never. But like. Now, now he's just like the old man director. They're like, oh, he he did good with with old man Logan. Now let's give him old man Indiana Jones. Like Logan, it wasn't even that old. I mean, well, yeah, he's like old. He was like, he's like he was aged up. You know, he's like a decrepit, you know, aging hero. And right. that, like that's like this is like why Hollywood's so fucking stupid. Because this is literally how these ex- executives think. They're like, oh, well, he did that old movie, so let's give him this other old movie. That's literally that. That's <sighs> lit. That was literally their thinking in hiring him. I guarantee it. Uh, like just because he did one movie so, with an old in it, it's such, doesn't mean that he can pull off this other old it's movie. It's such a, it's such a, it was such a failure on so many, on so many levels. This movie, um, and like, oh man, if okay. Steven Spielberg had directed it, it would have been so much. It better. would have been so much better. Yeah, and then yeah, if they had hired a different wombat, I think so much I that mean, that could have really that improved would have it. Taken the movie. So far, just that. Like give, somebody give with Mads more to do. Somebody, give, give Boyd Halbrook more to do. Somebody with a little bit, because uh, the thing, yeah, because the thing is, they only showed up. Like it was like okay, like you know, oh the the, the next thing that we have to grab, like oh th- here they are, they've showed up. Like wh- why that did, was why it. Did that was Boyd all Halbrook they had have to do. like a like a robot arm like he did in Logan. That would have been good. Yeah, you give him something. Yeah, he wasn't menacing. And, he, and he, the thing is, and really, he kept getting punched out by Indy. Indy kept knocking him on yeah, his he was ass. He like a bitch the entire time. He kept, Indy kept literally knocking him on his ass. It's like, what, you can't handle one old man? You're yeah. supposed to be like some kind of mensch. I know. <laughs> like, you think, you think you're going to be able to succeed in the Reich? Yeah. <laughs> I did like the huge fucking mountain dude they had. That guy, yeah, was, that awesome. guy was That guy was good. How did he go out? He just like got tossed oh. into a, a river or something? Well, so... We're getting there, right? Okay, hold on. Let's, let's, keep, let's keep moving through the so, plot here. So, so Mads Mikkelsen, he takes the antique there, right? And and they just drive and they drive away, and there's this whole chase, and and then Big, there's another long chase. chase. There's scene. another chase. There's a yeah, two, it's, it's, it's like it's a chase a, after it's, a chase. It's a it's a, it's a it's a it's a chase double feature because apparently Wombat said she was going to marry this uh, like oh yeah this this like mobster's like son. Um, why did we need this subplot? We did not at all. Um, and he's like chasing her because she wants he wants to marry her, but also he's trying to kill her. All his guys are shooting at her. She's a very desirable woman. Like his guys are shooting at her, but she's like he's like saying like oh like no he likes no no don't kill her. But they're like literally shooting anyone. bullets. She, she's shooting bullets at them, and they're in this like tuck tuck that is like bulletproof. <laughs> I mean like this little this little like scooter thing with like kind of like a windshield. It's like bull- I mean it. it Better than body armor, this thing. <laughs> they were they're driving around Elon Musk's fucking cyber truck. No, dude. no, literally, it's like yeah, like and, and like like bullets, like bullets are are pinging off this like pew 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 pew, like 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 just I mean, like Uzi like Uzi rounds are flying at them. So you know, Mads Mikkelsen he gets away, right? But oh, but then he doesn't get away. He's caught by the Americans. But then the Americans, he, they're on a chopper. But then he and, and and the the CIA lady is back. But then. They kill all the Amer- all the Americans. Him and his two guys. They just murder them. A lot oh, of murder these guys, in this guys movie. have like the like the like the littlest like most dinkiest like like seventies like pepper spray. Mm. He's like, psh, psh, psh. it's like, like the sound effect too is so like dinky. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. I, I took some notes. I've, I've been kind of going through the plot, but um, really bad foley throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Like I kept noticing yeah. like the footsteps. I don't know if I'm like retarded or something. <laughs> but, like I was like I was like. Why are the footsteps so loud? Like someone would be like across the room, yeah, yeah. and you'd hear a clap, click, click, like, click, like, and and yeah, and and they they sounded like fake footsteps too. They sounded like someone making footsteps with like shoes, right, right. like in <laughs> sand, like you know, next to a mic. But Shut like it's, it just sounded like sound effects, yeah. and and like it was just and like when people moved around, like the the shuffling was like way too loud. Bring the fucking mix down a bit. 
like you don't need I, I get that they're moving i can see it i don't need to like have that reinforced with like some overly detailed sound effect that was strange that was strange um yeah and like so like, they they kill this whole plane of like ca operatives uh which and, and like none of these guys are restrained or anything not, not like they they literally like right Mads, at, at this point Mads Mikkelsen is a U.S. asset he put the he put the America on the moon and they he somehow was able to leave the country somehow was able to leave the country uh without them knowing which number one completely implausible number two they catch him and then he's just like sitting there like then she's like ah like they're making me bring you back like and your guys too like these these men who she literally saw killing indiscriminately. Yeah. For his goals. You know, so and they're not they're not even tied up. They're not even fucking handcuffed. They're just sitting there with weapons. That whole part was yeah, confusing it to was me. It was so strange. Like yeah. it's like they're caught but then they're not. Why was what was the point of that? Just let them go. Like 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 just have them not be caught. Like there why so waste my time? There's so many things that just didn't make sense or like yeah, just didn't like, like you need to think about these things when you write the script. Yeah. Uh, or when you're making the movie. Like, I feel like, like, I, I don't want to make it sound like writing a movie is an easy thing, but like, no. I feel like I would know if I was writing a movie, like I would know that this is a bad scene. Put some ADR in at least like in the edit, like figure out something, something. And like, he like, shot. and like all these like CIA agents like taken out with like the littlest, dinkiest, like, lo- like pepper spray. Psh, psh. <laughs> psh, psh. Ah, my fucking eyes! Like, like, oh, boom! Like, domed! Like, what? <laughs> fucking what? So they they get away with the Antikythera, whatever. Um, but then, but then they're like, oh, sh-, like, uh, Wombat's like, yeah, 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 Harrison. Like, he, he convinces. He's like, he's like, I'm young and you're young and I'm old, but we gotta work together on this thing or whatever. And and her like little sidekick is like, this old guy, like. I, I thought we were just trying to steal shit. Right. Like, I thought we were in this for all the wrong reasons. That was a terrible was line a of terrible dialogue. terrible fucking line of dialogue. <laughs> Who says that? Shoot me in... Who talks like shoot, that, bro? Absolutely shoot me in the head, like, di- like line of dialogue. Yeah, that, like, was, that was really like, bad. I... They would need... Yeah. I, multiple times I need to be exhumed from my from my coffin after I wonder if, if the act, when the actor got that, he like the script, he's like, oh, man, I got to say that? Uh, I don't know. He's probably just really happy to be on set. Yeah, but like even even that, you know, just being on set, being happy. But then once you once you're handed that dialogue as an actor, don't you have to be like, all right, how am I gonna make this? Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> you know? and, and I'm not, I'm. It's a challenge. The guy did a, his fine job, but he did not deliver that line very well. Um, no, no, he was actually a really bad actor. I felt. I, like. I want him to get more work. You want him to get yeah, more yeah, work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want him to get more work. I was like, why would they cast like a bad actor in this role? Like it's it's such like a. Yeah, maybe they thought that they had. Here's the thing: like it was they, weird. they are Wombat and what's his name? Uh, I don't usually notice acting either. Like Tommy, I'm not really super critical Teddy. of actors. You have to kind of be bad for me to like notice it. T- what Tommy Teddy? What's his name? Teddy. His name's Teddy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I remembered. Wow. Um, you know who they, they, you know they should have cast? They, they should have cast the the, the 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 fat kid uh, from like the Samoan guy from the Spider Man, the new Spider Man movies. That should have um, been Teddy. They should they, they, they could have called him like Teddy Bear. Yeah. And they, they could have made uh, yeah, like action I mean, figures. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. That kid would have done been fine. And he's if, not really kidding. He's probably like thirty now. Yeah. Th- this th- this young man Teddy that played Teddy would have been good if he he had any chemistry with Wombat. Here's the thing though. I don't think anybody does. Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody can have chemistry She's with her. She's an anomaly. She is insufferable. Yeah. And the more I think about her in the film, the more incensed I become. Just if you, in case nobody's noticing he, that. And he's like, I thought you only cared about money. And she's like, well, you know, he he's he's useful, you know, or whatever. Like, yeah, like, 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 oh, how'd they meet? She, he tried to steal. He, she, she, yeah. he, he tried to steal her purse. She hit him repeatedly with her with the door of her car. He didn't let go. They've been together and they've since. been together ever since. Okay, so what? What if? What if that? What if the roles were reversed? And we asked Indy when he was young how he met Short Round, and then he said, "He tried to steal from me. I hit him with the door of my car multiple <laughs> times." <laughs> We'd be like, "Oh my god, this guy's oh, a monster!" No, like, yeah, what? Yeah, it's but, like, but, but, but because it's, she says that it's she, like it's cute or funny or something. She's, she's charming. Yeah, she's charming. Yeah, it's like no, like that's fucking stupid. Like you assaulted a child. 
You're not funny. You're not charming. Uh, Indy, Helena, and Teddy trail Voller to Greece and team up with Indy's old friend Ronaldo, a professional sea diver. This is another like non-plot section. Well, so they meet up with Indy's friend, right? He's a fr- he's a frog man. He's a frog man, and, <laughs> yeah. and there's all these like hot like uh, Greek like uh, swimmer like guys yeah that was cool i like that she, yeah she's like I, those I, guys were cast and well then wombat was like into that and she was like you know i see a lot of opportunities around here and she, <laughs> yeah 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 but some of the guys were like old too like they, they were they, hot they, but they, they were, were old they were greased up and she was she was trying to get um some dick and they should have they should have shown her like they should have had a scene where indy like busted in on her and she was like you know half naked like like just getting railed that would have been good, and she and, and then he'd be like, "Oh shit," you know. Yeah, that would have been good. I would have liked. Yeah, I would have something. liked that. Just her, just her getting just absolutely. Yeah. I, I wanted more sex in the. You movie. know what though? With with this, with how that character's written, she probably would have been pegging the dude. Yeah, you're right. I, I honestly can't imagine her like yeah taking any cock. Like she's such a you know, manly <laughs> kind of character. Shut up. She would have to be. Uh, she'd have to be like um doing something yeah like putting something in his ass yeah um um she she uh you know isn't above using her you know feminine wiles to so get, to get so, what she so they're on this boat with all these guys these greek these greek got adonises you know really some sexy dudes honestly yeah some this whole section some goes I, nowhere really some eye can, some they, eye they, they they dive through the water to, to get like the map to the other piece of the puzzle it's a, it's it's the, your fucking classic kathleen kennedy fetch quest fucking plot line yeah like what were one piece of 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 map they, leads they, to another piece of they, map leads to talking, another piece of they've been talking map. about these graficos that's oh what they're called God. and then and and apparently the dial was on, when the the dial was initial was on this roman ship the romans captured it right and or the half that they had and they also captured the graficos which were the the map to the second half of the dial. Um, and then, so, okay, wait. And, and this, the ship, like, broke apart. So the part that, so sponge sponge divers who can go just down for sponges, right? They they found the part of the dial that they have and has been been shuffled and shuffled. Why not just send those guys down back, there to get it? Why does, why does the 85-year-old man have to go down so and then, get it? So then, yeah, they, they Harrison's got a man, a frog man, you know, friend. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, hold on. We're not there yet. So... So, uh, dude, oh my god! All right, so yeah, he's got a frogman friend, and, and they and they, it's like, okay, we're gonna go under, and the guy's like, I've got a technique to avoid the bins. It's called the bounce, uh, down for three minutes. That's it. I didn't time it, but it seemed like a lot fucking longer than th- for three minutes. Oh yeah, they were, they were down, down there. there for a while. Um, and then you know, so that they're down there, they're fucking, you know, oh, and and there's there's the the, the snakes of the sea. This movie fucking pissed me off. The, sna- the snakes of the sea are infe- infest these waters. It's around the time where I started getting pissed. The, the snakes of the sea infest these waters. Eels. Indiana Jones, he's 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 afraid of snakes. That was kind of clever. I, I like that part. Um, and then I thought that was kind kind, like, kind of funny. They're like they're like they're like down in the fucking depths or whatever, looking for this these this box or whatever. And there's like skeletons. The skeletons of Roman legionnaires from the year what? <laughs> <laughs> the year fucking one. I didn't even like, think about that. You're so right. Like what? That shit would be uh, done. Like, like, that would like, be completely washed at, at away. At the bottom of the uh, Mediterranean. Like, yeah. It's not like the Dead Sea or something. It's not like an anoxic ocean. It's like an ocean where things live. Like that there, shit would it, be. It's like yeah. all these skull- Like in like Roman armor, it hasn't rusted completely through. Give me a break, okay? There's oxygen in this fucking ocean. That shit would have been toast. Right. So. And they're, but they're they're, they're like really fragile too. Like when yeah, any yeah, when yeah. any they're bumps one, brittle. they just fall apart. Yeah, yeah. So like why didn't they fall apart before? Yeah, yeah, and there's like it's like full of eels. So how did the eels not just like yeah. really decimate the and like they get the box or whatever? That was it, that was kind of fun when they he like pulled the box out of the whatever. Yeah, and like it was just like eels. Uh, that was kind of a cool set piece. I mean, even though it was like you know all what, CGI, did, yeah, it didn't make any sense. Didn't make any sense. It, it was yeah. like it was kind of you know cool. That yeah, it was. It was. We haven't really had an underwater it indie was, adventure yet. It was a set piece. So you know, they, it was a set piece. They set it up to be a piece of Com- shit. Yeah. Yeah, like they did. Like so far, we really haven't had any set pieces in this movie. Yeah. 
No, no, like, yeah, the, the chase scenes don't really count because they're, they're just boring chase scenes. Yeah, and they're not. Th- and they're this at least place... felt like something, y- you know, yeah. new. Or, yeah, yeah. Or, it, you know. It was the thing that they tried to do. So then while they're down there, guess what? Doesn't really make sense that Indy had somehow, to go down there. Somehow, somehow the Germans, or, you know, uh, Mads Mikkelsen knows exactly where they are. What? And shows up to. So that to and like yeah, so everybody cut, knows they, where everyone is they, like they, all the time. They start, no before what. before they even know what's going on under the water, they start cutting everybody's oxygen lines. Oh right, yeah. And it's like what? And like the the first guy's oxygen line gets cut. He's just dead. Like wh- like he can't hold his breath for one second. <laughs> he can't hold his breath for literally one second. Why why do they have oxygen lines? Because they're underwater, they need well, to breathe. But why don't they just use like like oxygen tanks? Because like they're because because then they couldn't do the whole um, bit where like you know, because then they could have just swam away. <laughs> right. The, but you know they had to have oxygen lines so that they had to come up back up to the ship. So then they just go back up to the ship. Like they don't they don't drop the box back to the bottom of the ocean floor so we can't get the uh, dial. But nothing. It, it, how deep is this though? It's not that deep, right? Cause, it's like, uh, three hundred meters. So like it's, they, it's they not would need that enough deep. Line. It's not that deep. But they have enough line to go down there, apparently. And then, but like, don't get the you, lines you also, crossed. You need to traverse the ocean floor and, like, go through things. And, like, yeah, you don't want to cross with the people. Just a- adding, like, a line of oxygen seems, like, way more dangerous than just having a tank. It was supposed to feel dangerous, I think. And, like, unnecessarily so. Like, like yeah. wh- whatever. It's I don't it's know fine. where scuba technology was at this point in time. I don't know what the technology was they like. They had oxygen tanks in the fucking... In the, in the six... In, in the... I don't late know. 60s? I don't know. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Definitely. In the Mediterranean, in the Mediterranean on a Frogman boat. I, I don't know. I, yeah. Maybe not. Like yeah. Maybe, maybe not outdated those guys. Tech. Yeah. Um. So. So anyway. So but you know. But the thing is, it's all set up so they have to come back up to the boat. And then like, but the thing is, they bring the box up to the boat. They know that they're up there. They bring the box up there to give to them. Yeah. At this point, they're just trying to get the plot to move forward. Like. So like, they, oh, get, they, they give the it to him. Along. They get up to the, the, the boat, and all the all these hot guys are dead, just fucking murdered. Oh yeah, that was sad. And then Indy, the guy's like, tell, the guy opens the box, and he's like, you know, Matt Smith opens the box. He's like, Indy, like, read it. And and like, you know, it just seems like such a chill conversation, which is so weird. Because the thing is, he's trying to not be over the top. Indiana Jones is depressed and eighty years old, and he's like, he's like, I'm not gonna read it. No. <laughs> And then he shoots his fucking buddy in the knee, and then he's like, "Come on, read it." He's like, "No," and then he fucking shoots his buddy in the head, or whatever, dead. He kills him, dead. Like, that's it. I I knew it at at some point that Indiana Jones was gonna get shot. Like that was like spoiled for me at somewhere. I don't. Oh, know. really? I didn't know. It's not. I was like, apparently, like, because people were complaining about the movie when it hardly came out. had any effect on him. There, there were. <laughs> yeah, I know. They were like, yeah. Indiana Jones gets shot like halfway through the movie and like he's like disabled the rest of the plot and Helena has to do everything. What? Um, he was f- number one. What else would he have done? And number two, it didn't even. It didn't really it seem didn't, to phase him at all. It didn't disable him at all. Yeah, he was shot, but it was, he was fine. It's like the only reason but he was I, shot the was the whole so, movie was, though. I was I kept trying to like like figure out when he was going to get shot. You know, I was like I was like expecting <laughs> him to get shot at some point. So like I kept getting baited like because when he like flees the the frog boat or whatever, uh, Boyd Hallbrook, you know makes one last ditch effort to like shoot a pistol at them as, as they're fleeing. Right. And there's, and they're like, ping, ping, you know, like bouncing yeah, off the yeah, boat. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh shit, this is, this is it. Like, they're going to be like, everyone. Okay. And Andy's going to look down. I've been shot. I've been, you know, like, or like it's, we're going to think they got away clean, but right. then Andy's going to sit, you know, sit down and he's going to try to shake it off and they're going to yeah. notice there's some blood, but that didn't happen. No, no. And that kept happening. I was like, well, so then why did Boyd Halbrook run and shoot the gun? And why did they make, like, they just kind of, like, I mean, that is something I guess they, you would do they, if, if you were, like, trying to get these guys or whatever. They, but, like, the, the way the filmmaking is, it's like they kind of put emphasis on certain things. Yes. That kind of felt like they yes. were leading to something. Yes. And then it didn't pay off. It was, like, it was so many, like, moments. There were so many moments of, like, this is going somewhere. Yeah. And then you find out that it is going nowhere. It's like an illiter- like an illiteracy of like the language of film. Yeah. And like the medium of storytelling. It it, it created a, it created a lot of expectations that were then not fulfilled. Right. Which was very um it really pissed me off. I'm just going to be honest. Um throughout the film it just like 
more and more and more. So then, you know, it's like, okay, okay, well, who can read this fucking piece of shit or whatever, you know, that they got out of, you know, from under the ocean. And now the guy's dead. And she's like, and, and Wombat's like, oh, give me, give me a hundred thousand dollars and I'll, you know, uh, you know, do it or whatever. And, and he's like, no, don't do it. And, he, and he's never going to pay you. And then Han, like, uh, Hans like gives her, um, what do I keep saying? Uh, whatever. Schmidt. Sh- Dr. Schmidt. Was it, was it, Han, was his name Hans Schmidt? Is he changed? He changed his name to Doctor Schmidt, but his original name was something. Was Voller. Yeah, Volt. Yeah, or something. Yeah. Something Voller. Something. So anyway, uh, you know, Mads Mikkelsen. He's like, he's like, you know, immediately as soon as Indy's like, he's not going to pay you. He like, he, he he like gives her Jürgen Voller. Yeah, yeah Jürgen. Um, he like gives her a bunch of diamonds. Where do you get those? Nazis Whatever. just have lots Whatever. of diamonds. Not, yeah. Yeah. Um, straight from Argentina. So they. He like gives her the diamonds. She's like immediately, you know, she, you know, since she's like reading it, and then she's like, she like reads it or whatever. Then she's like deciphering it, mm-hmm. like kind of like the scene from Black Dynamite where they just decipher <laughs> the fucking I mis- seen that the so mystery. There, it's like the scene. They're like, it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like this real. It's like really opaque, and they just keep like making these like logical leaps, like that are like per, you know, because like obviously it's like satire, right? But it's like it's like and that is the street that he grew up on. Right. Right. And that, and, and five and five plus five is ten. Ten is the number of feet between this monument and that, and the <laughs> second brick on the right. Or whatever, you know, just like, you know, so she's like, she's like leading them down the rabbit hole of like, okay, what's, you know, what does this mean, this riddle? And meanwhile, she's like lighting some dynamite with a cigarette. Right. Mind you, she asks for a cigarette. They're corrupting the youth. Watch out. Oh, right. That was the tobacco depiction. Wow. Watch out. So, And then she lights the dynamite with a cigarette, and she throws it, and, uh, you know, it doesn't... You know, it's so funny, because, like, every time you see, like, extra guys with Jurgen that are not the two <laughs> the main two henchmen, main guys. I, I'm literally thinking, like, this guy's about to die. Like, I, yeah. like there was one moment in the cha- one of the chase scenes, I was like, I was like, who's this third guy with them? Like to Mackenzie, and immediately he was killed. <laughs> immediately, I was like, father, <laughs> immediately yeah. like it's it an was NPC. so funny. Like, and because you don't really see him, like you see him kind of the corner of the scene, and like the corner of your eye, like you know, they're not, it's like not focused on it all. And then it's like ah, or whatever, you know. Yeah. Um. So funny, but um, and like you know, so they blow it up, and they get it, they go, they run away, and they're like running away in the speedboat, you know, with the thing. Um, that and the thing is, they're the only ones that can read it. But Jurgen's like, make get the thing. Like he can't read it. You know, you know how like uh, the 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 Nazi like interrogator guy from the first Indiana yeah. Jones movie. You know the good one. You know, remember how he like tries to grab that thing, that dial or whatever the hell it is in the yeah. first movie, and it burns his hand. Yeah, yeah. And he's got this like gross like. Yeah, burn. yeah. That sh- that shit was cool. Yeah, you know, and like that character was cool. I really, I really wanted there. I like when they introduced Jurgen, I and like they kept like not showing one side of his head. I was thinking, okay, he's got a massive dent in his head. From when he got hit by from that when he thing. got hit by that thing, <laughs> right? I'm like that. That's gonna be like his character. Yeah, thing. right, right, right. You know, like every like, and, villain and, always has like, and, a, and like a little kind, physical and, and, disability. And it makes him kind of crazy because he, right. he's got brain damage. It'd be sick if he turned it and his head was just concave. Just like, just, yes, <laughs> yes. We were making Mackenzie and I were both thinking like we were like where? Wait, she, Mackenzie's like no, no, no. They haven't showed that side of his head. He's gonna have the <laughs> right, fucking right. dent. I'm like wait, he's alive. She's like, he's going to have a dent. No fucking nothing. dent. Not a scar. So, so, so nothing. then why set up the fact that he was hit so hard by this thing if that didn't lead to anything? Just it's just the, bad just, filmmaking. Just the fuck with... Yeah, like once... A, like time after time after time, you're just baited. Like, and not in a fun way. Not in a good way. Like in a way of like, you're setting expectations. Like, please pay them off. And, and, and they're just like, no, you know? No, it's just so fucked up that like Indy aged so much, and then Jurgen like looks essentially the same. I guess yeah. I guess they did youngify him a bit they, in, the, in the flashback. They, they, that's why they made him look. That's why they younged him because like, he didn't look. It's just it's just sad they, they, that they, they Indy the actually aged, and he right. he just got to like fake right age. right yeah it was you know, so they, they didn't because like match. yeah what's the, what's the age difference supposed to be between them like anyway right so. So then, you know, and they're driving away in the speedboat, right? They have the fucking, the Grafico, and they're driving away in the speedboat, and, and, and Jurgen's like, looking through some binoculars, and he's, like, 
they're not headed, you know, because she like told them to go to like the not 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 the place where it actually is, you know. That it's you know. Yeah, she pulled a fast she, one. She, on she pulled a she pulled a fast one, but he's like looking at the it, it, but it's a complete waste of everybody's time, right? Because she he's literally looking at them through binoculars, speeding away into the ocean, and he's like, they're going west, not east, and then they know exactly where to go. <laughs> what? What a fucking genius! Fucking ridiculous! It was that was so goofy. And as soon as he picked up the binoculars, I was thinking like, "Oh my god, please don't let this be what happens." He, he had the crystal skull. I was thinking like, "Please, please let this not be what I think is about to be." When he they he's just looking at the direction that they're headed and and decides that he's been double crossed. Okay, so this this is where this is where they they go into Archimedes's tomb. Then 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 they go to Archimedes' tomb. Right, they, it's like you know where they, they where they finally find the they, dial they solve, second they half. They solve the riddle and they fucking find the second half of the dial. Um, there's a wristwatch. They, they they there's a yeah. Archimedes is wearing like a, a wristwatch um, that you kind of get a look at, and there's like propellers. There's some propellers on like the his tomb or whatever on like the on like this like fresco on his tomb, and um, you know they find it. They're like, oh, the dial, the second half or whatever, right. and they just like stand there. I mean, they just hang out. Meanwhile, Jurgen, they're in the fucking tomb, and they and they. Oh, wait, 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 back up just a little bit. They're they're like in this town, like getting ready to go to the tomb or whatever. And like, um, Teddy, he like runs off to like steal from some kids, and then he gets himself some ice cream, and then he's just like walking around, and just yeah, so happens, way, way too chill, just so happens to walk into the one alleyway where they're like waiting for him. Yeah, don't separate. And they find that they, they capture being chased him. Chased by Nazis. They capture him. And Indy sees that he's captured, but he can't do he, they can't do anything, right? And he's a thousand years old; he can't do anything. So um, they're like, "Oh well, you know, hopefully Teddy's gonna be okay. <laughs> he'll, he'll be okay. He'll be okay." He's, yeah, right. He was so confident that they're yeah. just gonna like torture and murder him. So then they take Teddy with them. Teddy th- throws the big bodyguard man into the water and handcuffs him to a grate and that's the end of the big bodyguard man yeah that was such a shit way for the big I guy know. To go out. i was like i was like he's gonna i was like he's gonna come back right yeah or he's gonna like rip this thing off because it's like an old rusty yeah th- it's like thousands of years old this fucking thing that's had you water, tear it water off. yeah like yeah no no that's it he was drowned i thought he was gonna have some sort of like big dust up with and, with indy and then theme. somehow that that water took teddy to the chamber that this whole riddle was about to find anyway and he never had like a dust up with anyone no he, he always had too old but th- that's the thing you gotta have one final one one the dustiest up yeah dude so like, one, one one final fist fight so then you're again fine yeah you're right no you're right he tried he, like, he kept trying to do that and they just kept putting the big the big guy in front of him m- maybe uh he did do the thing with the hat he put the hat mm, yeah the hat was good that he, wasn't like a fight though yeah, that was just like yeah, a, he, a one, he a one he punch. He didn't have a dust up. He didn't really get to use his whip very much either. No, he used his whip like just one like time. One time. That was kind of awkward too. Yeah, because then people pulled out guns. And people were like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah, and then they all sh- they start they start shooting, but he he ducked, so it was all good. Yeah, they, um, they just shot where he was standing. Right, right. He's like he's like anywhere. He's like not whoosh, 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 right, right. They didn't ducked. actually aim at him. They were just <laughs> mindlessly pulling the trigger. Everybody <laughs> in the room. Um. So then. What, what do you know? Jurgen gets the fucking dial. He puts it together. Then he's like, ah, I'm, you know, and, and he gets shot, but he's fine. Like everybody else <laughs> has been shot one time, has died. One yeah, time, true. shot one time, dead. One, one time in the chest. Yeah, yeah. One time in the chest, dead. I feel like he gets shot kind of close to his heart too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was weird. It was like it was like here. It was like here. It wasn't like in the meat of the shoulder. It was like here. <laughs> it was like he got shot. It was in like the heart. fucking like what? Like he's good, and he's like you know, and he's old as f. Everybody else has been shot in the chest. Has died instantly. The Indy, yeah, young spry people. Indy, all good. So then, you know, ter- you know, then, then, uh, you know, but, but he like, he like somehow, somehow, it's like, oh, go get away, you know, how, you know, Wombat and Teddy. He like sacrifices himself. He sacrifices himself. Yeah. Which is not like they just get away. Like they aren't even going for them. Like he's not, you know. And then they they take him onto the plane because Jurgen wants to brag, I guess. And, yeah, well, why even take him? And it's like, sure. And, like, everyone's all, like, you know, they have a Nazi plane, you know, with the fucking swastika. And everyone's in, like, new, you know, nice, some nice Nazi uniforms. Yeah, fresh. Pressed. Fresh out of the cleaners. He's like, you know, he's like, I'm going back, you know, to stop Hitler from losing the war. I'm going to take over and run the Reich. 
Okay. So, you know, and, 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 uh, we, oh, she did get wet and wild though. Wombat did. Ew. There's like this nice scene where she, it, it's, um, damn, I'm going to have to go. Um, I, Mackenzie's telling me that she's, <laughs> she's got, she's got, she's taking pictures for somebody today and like they just told her a different time. So apparently that means I have, dang it. We got to wrap it up, you guys. I know. So we're almost there. We're almost, so I, I know. We're so close. How many, how many minutes we got? Well, she has to be there at three. I'm just going to, I'm just, we're just going to go. We're just going to go. So let's go. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so Andy's on the plane, right? Yeah. A uh, wombat, she, they, somehow they follow them, you know, um, she's on a motorcycle. Teddy like finds like a, a, a plane, right? And this is the moment that he's going to fly a plane. Right. And for some reason, uh, so, so he, he takes the plane off. Yeah. You know, the other plane takes off. She's like, it's like in the rain. She's like riding like the most unbelievably dangerous riding a motorcycle, trying to get onto a plane. It's like wet. She keeps like missing. She's not like she, the propellers are going, like, like but this this motorcycle has infinite traction, so it's all good. Um, in the pouring rain, I mean, an absolute deluge, going, I mean, a six, 60, 70 miles an hour, like plane speed, and the plane just keeps like not taking off, like weirdly, like going up, like not taking. It's like the it's like lifts up a little bit. Yeah, this plane sucks. Uh, all these action scenes were so drug out. I felt like yeah, like artificially they'd hit certain beats and they'd hit them again artificially and again. extended yeah they really were hammering on these beats it was it was it'd, it'd be more exciting if it just went from beat to beat you know instead of yeah. instead of like really like lingering on each moment it was yeah. yeah it was strange like it just needed like a better edit yeah better better it a just lot needed of things to be better they could have um, cut an, uh, a, a cool hour and a half out of this movie <laughs> Easily, <laughs> that would have been Easily. just fine with Indiana that. Jo Indiana Jones and the hour-long romp, you know. Is this, the, is this the longest indie movie? Probably. It's got to be right. Unfortunately, so so fucking long. um so then, like, like Crystal Skull sucked, but at least <laughs> Mutt Williams was not as insufferable as Wombat. No, so, not nearly. Not by not by a, a smidge or a smidgen. So um, then, uh. What, Let's see what's so they go through see. the time fisher. Well, well, so yeah, she gets on the plane, right? And they're like, uh, we're going through this, like, you know, fuck hole in the sky, and it's going to take us back to the 1930s. Well, so, so, so then he puts the dial together, right? And, and, and he's, he's like working it or whatever, but and he's, Andy thinking, realizes, he's thinking, like, okay, th like from, from now, it's going to take us back to the, this specific moment in the 1930s, and they're going to go to Poland, and he's going to get Hitler, and and you know, and, and, and everyone's you know ready f to be a Nazi again or whatever. Yeah. And um, and Indiana Jones somehow for some reason he sees like bullets like moving, like like falling, and he's like, How, how's Jurgen gonna assume control of the fucking I don't know entire yeah, German it's like army? You kill Hitler and they're it's like they're just gonna uh, it's follow gonna be you? all good. And it's gonna be like they're gonna be like, oh, you're the Promises guy. Promises everyone ice cream. Like, he, like you literally kill the Führer, and then like, oh, you're the guy. Like, you're gonna be the guy. It's not, maybe, how, it's maybe, not how it works. Was it? Was it? Yeah, it's not how it works at all. Yeah. So that was very unbelievable. And then I'm like, so how's that gonna work? But then, so Indy's like sitting there. You have a time machine. Indy's. And, well, That's no. That's the best thing you can think to no, do. No, no, they don't have a time machine. They don't have a time machine. They have like something that tells them when a, an anal fissure <laughs> is gonna open in the sky and take them back in time. It's it's uh it's a machine that has to do with time. It tells you where this fissure is, but somehow they already know where it. Like, here's the thing: they already knew where it was, because like these fissures like open up at specific times. It's not like it opens one up. It they open up at specific. They're times. just around. They're just around, but somehow yeah. they know exactly when and where to be for this fissure to take them back to exactly when they need to be. Because yeah, these fissures I, I kind of like the, the the concept of having to fly through a. A hole in the sky. That was th visually, it was really not. I I, I appreciated the, yeah. how they did it visually. I kind of I kind of thought cool. that was a, a neat. I'm glad it wasn't just like oh we twist the dial and then dun 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 no, and everything yeah, around cool. us it changes. Was cool, like, but that, it, that it, also, shitty. it also made the dial like like it wasn't magical. It wasn't really like any any kind of interesting. Yeah. It just it just like told them where to be, but he seemed like he already knew where to be. It, he wasn't like giving them directions. Was he? I don't know. I was, maybe, I was a little gave, fuzzy maybe, on the, maybe, on the maybe details he, maybe he of the time travel mechanism. Um, I probably should have paid a little more attention. Whatever. So then, at this point, at this point, it's you know you've you're so far down the you know. 
So anyway, they fly through this fissure in the sky, right? And and before they fly through Indy's, Indy's like, or, or so they're about to fly through. Indy's like sees bullets like falling from the seat or whatever. He's like, it's like it's continental drift, right? What the fuck? <laughs> what the, what gave him that idea? He's like continental drift. Oh, this isn't going to take <laughs> us back to when we need to be. This is going to take us somewhere else. We don't even know because the continents drift, and they didn't know about that back then. I kind of like that part. He was, like, fucking with Fuller at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, and Fuller's like... And he was Vo- confident. He was, like, laughing at him. Fuller's like... Fuller's like, oh, wait. No. And then he's like, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. We're going you know, somewhere. Yeah, we're going but somewhere. But it's definitely not 1939. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was okay. Good. That was like, a good moment. Like, okay, you know, cool. You know, um... Yeah, like, like that was kind of an intense scene. I feel like it, it kind of warmed up towards the end. Like I, I was starting to get a little more that, into it. That moment between them was good, where like he yeah. he had been confident, and then he was like, "Wait, no!" And he's like, "No, no, no!" Like abort, abort, abort. And they were like, they just went, they just kept going. They they went through the fucking. Thing it, it should have been maybe Wom- like, Wombat who got shot, and then Indy had to save her. Yeah, because then it would because she was so like you know ahead of him and making fun of him and like. Besting right. him the it, entire time it would have that it would have been like higher stakes because right. he's kind of the weak weaker one right to now he has to save her and like it, that would have been unexpected it would have been like it, it would have sealed up the imbalance in their relationship a lot better yeah yeah so, something to kind of like yeah like um humble her a bit and yeah. then to to really raise the stakes for Indy the main character of the film right you know so. But yeah, I mean, it's not like getting the shot. Char- the main character of the <laughs> it's film. It's not like getting shot really stopped him from doing anything. He was still on no, his feet he fighting. he was literally doing everything that he would have been doing otherwise. I yeah. don't... I like, don't know what the, what the well, point of the having only, him be shot was. The only thing that it ended up affecting, right, was like she, was for her to be like, no, you can't stay in the past. You've got to go get medical treatment. Well, so, so they go to the past, right? And it's there. It's in Rome. It's the it's, siege of it, Syracuse. It's, it's the Battle of Syracuse. Uh, Syracuse. That that had been that that had been discussed earlier in the film, uh, where Archimedes, you know, and the Romans they were coming for you know whatever, and and Archimedes was there, and like you know the, their plane starts getting shot by harpoons. It's the dragons. It's it, like big spears. Like they've the, got the, the dragons. The plane. Yeah, everyone's like dragons. It's, it's like people don't back to, in time didn't believe in dragons. I know, like what? They they wouldn't just see something yeah, yeah, in the yeah, sky yeah. And, and think it's it a was dragon. a like, dragon. Yeah, yeah. Like, Dragons never existed. Yeah, it's that was retarded. I, I don't. Yeah, that that was like very, you know, on the on the surface, it's like okay, like people back in time, they didn't know anything, but then it's like wait, like they're all like thinking that dragons are like can just show up at this battle. They never seen one before. They've never seen one before. Right. So. And it doesn't even look right. like and a dragon, it, and it doesn't look like anything like what a dragon would have been described uh, as no. in, ever. So, and and Archimedes, he's like, oh, I got to go see this or whatever. So he rides out into the battle, and the there's like a Roman guy that's kind of following, and he's like, you know, whatever, you know, he's like tries to murder Indy, and then like Archimedes guy like fucking shoots him. I like when Indy's in the plane, and one of the arrows comes through the hole. Yeah. And he's kind of like admiring it. He's yeah, like, he's like Ooh. looking at it. Yeah, one of the arrows comes through and just like t- like takes one of the pilots like through the chest up through his clavicle. Oh, dude, I'm that telling you, the Romans, had, they were good shots. That was good. Yeah, they really, yeah, never have they ever shot at something in the air before like this. Yeah, no. But they, but, but they <laughs> were, they, they were, they were, by golly, they were, they were getting some, some humdingers in. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. then the plane crashes. They're taking these Nazis and, out. And, and Voller is like dead as a doornail. Like oh, oh, on the yeah. ground, he's like, he's like a charred like, I, corpse. I, I thought it was crazy how like Voller and Boyd Halbrook died at the same time. Yeah, you, you'd think you want to stagger that. Cause the, you want to stagger it a bit, yeah. Because there's a part where um, where uh, Helena is is almost Dude, falling out of the plane. Boyd, there's a Nazi holding on to her. Boyd Halbrook was literally just shooting his pistol out of the the. <laughs> that part was out, retarded. Out, out of the door. <laughs> I was like, what out is he doing? Door. Like this guy is a certified fucking idiot. <laughs> Like he was like just shooting his pistol out the door Why? of the air, just aircraft. Wasting ammo. What is to, to what end? To what end? <laughs> You're gonna take out the entire Roman uh, army? Like that was so fucking stupid. So it was amazing. It was Why? amazingly stupid. Like like I you would like if and you were, then, if you were writing and, and, like and he uh, called him stupid too. Yeah He's yeah like, yeah. You're like, a fucking you, you dumbass. dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. I guess he is the dumbass. Dude, and, and meanwhile, like Helena is like trying to like. She's like she like lets all these guys like out of a trap door like okay and like but then she's like falling like one of them gets her and like and, 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 and he like that, sees her he's like that should have been Boyd Holbrook I, I, I thought like, Indy like had ar- I thought Indy had already seen her but then it turns out like he hadn't and then he sees her he's like oh oh no 
<laughs> and then they like get a parachute and like they get out. They well, remember he, he shoots her. He, he, he shoots, shoots the guy. Yeah, he's and, a crack and, shot. And I, I, I thought that should have been Boyd Holbrook. Like, like that would have hey, made why, sense. Yeah, that would have made to sense. Stagger the death. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Boyd Holbrook is like sh- fucking sh- like <laughs> just firing, sh- firing indiscriminately. indiscriminately out of a out of a the the door of an of an aircraft. Why? Why? Literally, so why? It was so it was ridiculous. Absolutely goofy. So then. They, they're, they're they're like taking this parachute down. Everything else, they sh- they shot this plane down, no problem. Not a single spear goes through this fucking parachute. They land safely. Yeah. The, the air airplane goes down. Vol Voler Volander or whatever. That's it. Voler yeah. dead as a doornail. Um, Archimedes shows up. He's like, oh. I like Boyd's reaction the, when he's about about to die. The dial. He's just like, like he kind of yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. give Voler this look. He's just like, like like a. I wanted to be a Nazi. Yeah, he went, he was looking forward to being a Nazi, dude. He, yeah. he was brushing up on his German. Yeah, yeah, he was he was reading up. He was ready, dude. He probably didn't know a single fucking word though. He was so, <laughs> so fucking stupid. stupid. Yeah, was, yeah, the book's like upside down. Yeah, yeah. That that would have been funny. <laughs> that would have been funny. Um, he's a moron. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like completely. Yeah. Like, and it's you're told this through and through. So like, he's not intimidating as like because every time you see him, it's like, okay, is, am I supposed to be intimidated or or am I supposed to be laughing? They should give him a hook, man. Or yeah, yeah, that would have been good. Just give yeah, him a hook. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but anyway, then, don't you know, make me hook ya. So then Archimedes he like finds his dial and he takes the watch off of Hans or whatever, and um, then uh, what do you know, right? What do you fucking know? They meet Archimedes and Harrison's like speaks his language and so does she. They like speak. They're like talking to him and he's like, you know. Then it, it, yeah, this whole conversation, and he's like, "I'm gonna stay." Yeah, they they like, should stay. That would be cool. So, I'm just, I know. I, like, they should have just let, let him die. Stay. Yeah, he's like, "I'm staying." I was like, "Okay, this is how they end it. This is how they end Indiana Jones." Yeah, like he's gonna stay. She's gonna leave, but she's like, "No, Th- that kind of would have been sick." No, but, you like, can't fucking leave. Like you're uh, you're gonna die of a gunshot, uh, and you need to live. He's like, "Live for what?" <laughs> literally They're literally he's like live for what um, you need to live for another three weeks right 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 <laughs> <laughs> like like medical technology was not that good back then like no. compared to what it is today like it, it, he could he could die of a stroke at any minute no, any moment yeah. like it's a, it's a miracle he's already part. like way past the expected just let him die in, in his favorite time yeah. period so, so that would have like, been like a nice yeah, like, ending Arch- for him. Archimedes is just standing there kind of like she was afraid. She, was, she mentioned at some point she was afraid that it was going to yeah, make like, like mess a, up the timeline. Mess up the timeline. Yeah, like I don't think that's how it works. How, like, how would you know what the timeline was? Because obviously he went back. Like, obviously that stuff made it back because you saw the propellers and the watch. And right, stuff. right, right. So, so, th- but yeah. Then she like, you know, they like talk, and then he like, you know, he sees history, right? Like he's li- he lives history, which has been his like greatest yeah. hope for his whole life. It's kind of cool. And then she knocks him out. She decks him. She decks him. Poop. You know, and then, and then they get they get back in the plane, I guess. Oh, meanwhile, this plane has the been in- flying. He's been flying around. He's been flying around. There's, there's a guy who's been in this plane who's like was asleep, and now he's like he was sleeping in this plane, and now he's like awake, and Where he's just there. Whoa! You're an ancient Rome fool. Right, right. And so they go back. You know, it's three weeks later or whatever. Or no, it's like Indy wakes up. It's three weeks later. Dude, the ending was so like truncated. Yeah. It was just like it was like over. Like okay, the action is over. We're gonna have like one little quick wrap up in credits. Like, yep. like what? Right, like. Oh, and like, oh, like she is, you know, she's there and Teddy's there. And oh, wait a minute. Who else is there? So they got back to the estranged ex wife. Oh, right, right. But they, they got back. I was kind of confused. They got, they, they, he, I guess Teddy landed the plane. He landed the plane. He and then got back in. They, they got flew back, back in, to the and hole. They flew back through the hole. Right. Then they, but then they, they weren't landed. shot down by the Romans? No. The Romans didn't bother them. No, no, no. The, the, the Romans didn't, didn't, they, they, they didn't bother this other plane. Why not? Dude, they were they were at least twenty <laughs> harpoons hit this uh, like or spears hit this other fucking plane. Yeah, like and, and they were actively like firing at them and stuff. Yeah, and, like, yeah. And being aggressive. The, no, no, their parachute did not get was unmolested as was the other plane. So they got they got back no problem. Thank God that they, other then plane. Then they get Indy. They get Indy to New York without him waking up. How? Yeah, I guess they just like How? they put him on some really nice uh, like painkillers or something or something. He yeah. and he wakes up. He's not in the past, and he's fine. And and they're all there. And guess what? His his estranged ex wife is putting his fucking away. He's like, "What are you doing here?" She's wound like, "Healed up like fucking." He's Wolverine. like, he's like, he's like, "What are you doing here?" To to his ex estranged yeah, ex wife. Yeah, yeah. She's like, uh, "Putting away groceries." A line for the ages. She's putting away groceries. And then right? and then and then they they start making out, 
leading to an elderly sex scene that we are not we're thankfully not, 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 sub- not subjected to. Damn it. The movie ends his uh, with his hat being on a clothesline and he grabs it and brings it back inside. Oh uh, yeah. You know what was stupid was was the whole like where does it hurt type shit they were doing? Oh the yeah. The callback cuz they did that in the last movie. Like you already did the callback in the last movie. In You're doing a callback one. to a callback. It's at this a callback point. to a callback. Do you think we forgot about ha- fucking Crystal Skull wh- wh- when, wh- you what did, th- when you did that? Th- is this a fucking That's their thing they have to do every single time. Like, That's their it, only thing that they the, ever do is, together. Yeah, I know. Is this the rushing nesting doll of call of callbacks? Oh my god. Oh. Where does it hurt? Where does it hurt? Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs>